switching some things around on uh twitch and started my audio over there so my bad on that what up it's us we back it's another weekend panda pandemonium the rest of the crew vocab rob here jay unfortunately won't be with us this weekend he's uh enjoying the married life right now so he's uh they had a anniversary if i'm not mistaken so they mm-hmm. out you know, on the internet waves hopefully he'll jump in you know how he does he randomly pop up on us and all that jazz he's so. doing that he definitely yeah. be doing that. He's a shiny Pokemon to the bunch. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You should start calling him that. <laughs> He's got to draw a copy of him that's shiny now. Like when he does his chibi, he does have a shiny version. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But how's y'all week been going? Going good. Going good. Can't complain. That's what's this, up. That's what's it's up. been a rough weekend, dude. I'm sorry. Chest out. out. Chest out. Just all types of pain. We here, but we here, we here, we here. here. That's what's up. We got a lot of news. So much news. (laughs) news. news. It's been a week. It has been a week. Um, we, I, I think everybody, literally, almost everybody dropped something, at least for the next six to eight months minimum. Yeah, at least. Yeah, you're good. You're good to about spring time right about now. Yeah, yeah. I think everybody's got their releases out until the end. So uh we got Nintendo Direct, uh, their fall one. They've been really good about dropping two a year too, though. So like their mm-hmm. fall Nintendo Direct. Um we had the 505 games release. We had the Sony State of Play that came through. Um we had which this one was a new one for me, the G Doc Expo Direct 2022. Um mm-hmm. which is game developers of color expo, which we will talk about that in a little more detail and kind of what it is, how it is, and all that jazz. If you have not heard of it, I just found out about it personally. I think it's great. Some of the gameplay they had on there was amazing. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely get into getting some of those. Uh, we have our general news, of course, as always. We'll hit into that. But uh, yeah, anything you all want to y'all want to touch on before we really like jump in, jump in? I can drop something. I can jump into something real quick, and then we can jump into the games. Right. Well, Pokemon anime news, Ash actually pulled the upset. Oh, word? Word. What we got? What we got? Ash defeated Cynthia. Ash beat Cynthia. He actually beat her. They actually gave him the dub. They gave him the dub. They gave him the dub. So he's going against Leon for the number one in the world. Do y'all know what that means? Our guy. Since we was, shoot, he's been around for what, 25 years now? 99. 99? I'm an 85, baby, so I was what, six? I was 86. Came up. So, yeah, he, he literally, he, yo, what up, Duke? What up? So he finally, finally. What up, Duke? Got that roses. dub. Got that dub. He mm-hmm. getting his roses. So what, what that tells y'all out there that are listening is that even no matter how old y'all are, you can still succeed. Yeah. Ash can do it. You can do it. Because yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> that's what we was all waiting for. What up, Monty? How's it going? Appreciate you swinging through. Uh, we, good, the, we good. We got we got people on the last mm-hmm. ride here. We got, we got Ash oh, winning. Yeah. We got One Piece on the last arc. I mean, we we had some we had some interesting times. We had some now. good times. We had some good times. This, this, like yeah. this is our whole childhood. Our whole Me. childhoods are coming back, 
and like wrapping up finally is yeah. is odd. I don't know how I feel about it. Bleach then came back like for the final arc. Bleach back. Well, done in like a year and a half, two years. You know what I mean? Like Vegeta yep. beat Goku, right? Yep. Hey. Uh-huh. What is what what is going on? Like I feel like the like era it. is coming to an end, and I don't know right. how I feel about that. We old, bro. We old. We getting old. Yeah, yeah I mean, Ash actually pulled the W. People wanted that back ten years ago. Shit, Listen, I, Ash ain't the only one that's almost Ash forty. He was ten years old. Come on now. Ash is not the only one that's almost forty. Right. Yep. Right. Like we've been waiting for this man to win for forever. Yeah, I mean he won the Alola League, which was cool. Now he on shit. Like he top dog, you know, most top dog in the world now. So. Right. Right. That's good because Ash Ash Loki, the only anime character that don't get plot armor, bro. Yo, I've been seeing people debate that all week. Like real. this nigga do. They went, eh, we we'll give him a dub, give him a couple L's. Right. <laughs> Give him another dub. Give him a, give him a minor dub. You know what I'm saying? Like all yeah. these L's. I mean, what's next? Lose I mean, we know. Pokemon, lose five Pokemon randomly. Like yeah. bro, he was going, he was about to sweep. If if his original five crew came back, he would have swept everybody. I don't care what nobody says. True. I don't care what nobody says. But if every yeah. Pokemon that left him for good reason came back, bruh. Yeah. Uh, right. Gary's been a pro- uh, Gary's a pro- not a professor. No, he's yeah, he's a professor assistant. Or he's a professor, he's a professor at this point. Yeah, right. And then give that that. Give, don't get me started on Gary. Yeah, we're in a different <laughs> era now. Gary, a grown grown ass man. Man, so, no. Nah, from the day I turned on Pokemon Red, bro, and Gary popped on my screen, I was like, I'm not gonna like this man. I'm not gonna <laughs> like this man. <laughs> He came out the gate talking trash, and I'm sitting here like, "Hey, sometimes you gotta know, run him in the ground." <laughs> so on, on site, on site, on site, on site. Like I know Gary could get it, but this man been doing. He been doing the greatest. He been out living his life and everything. Following. I right, look. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna make a statement that's going for all the sports people. They are gonna understand. You said since Red came out. Gary been talking shit, right? Mm-hmm. And who is known to be the greatest shit talker in basketball? The Gary Glow, Payton. Gary Payton. Okay? Yep. It's the Garys, my nigga. It's the Garys. It's the Garys. It's the Garys. <laughs> so just shout out to Ash. I mean, he, put, he came through. His Mega Lucario actually got the dub for him. Okay, okay. Ash was, I mean, Ash was not slow. That's the thing. Ash cared. Ash cared deeply for everybody. Like that man is a true goat. When it, he's a Mother Teresa of Pokemon, like for real, for real. True. That man took care of everybody on on the whole way. He stopped doing what he was doing every twenty seconds to help somebody else, and end up getting. And what do they do? They don't even get his man plot armor. <laughs> they and couldn't they even give him plot, plot armor. Don't get no kind of armor. Nothing. I mean, I- Ash is like early Dragon Ball Goku in a lot of ways. Right. right. Yes, what did Money say? She said how the, the only time the rivalry thing backfired. <laughs> See, I don't even like, okay, so here's my thing. When it comes to the rivalry with in Pokemon, there were rivalries in Pokemon, but it was never with Gary. Like Ooh. he was just there. <laughs> and then Gary was just there though. Like Gary, Gary had a rivalry with Ash. Ash was like, Gary who? Like I got bigger things to do today, bro. I'm like, yeah, no. Do you nah, see this? Gym? I got, I got, I got, I got ish to do. The real rival for ass was Paul. Let's keep it a buck. That was his real oh, rival. Yeah. Oh yeah, Paul. That was yeah. definitely his rival. They were oh, they yeah. were philosophically different. That's what I mean. That that's low key one. Of, that's a key to a rivalry. Philosophical difference is always the best rivalry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Shout out to yeah, shout out to Ash for beating Cynthia and something we all wanted back in the Sinnoh anime. We got what we wanted. Oh, yeah. Finally got that. Now, now comes the real fun. Can he beat uh, Leon? Leon. That's gonna be the real, the real thing. If um, they're going by the games, if they're going by the games, Ash is gonna win. Yeah, I hope be- just, let, just let the man retire. Just just let, let, let my guy retire. That's all I'm asking. 
he was the you know of and Ash was Asta. <laughs> Gary I was Asta. I see. I, I, see see that. I feel that. Excuse me, I'm with it. I can see it. I can see it. I mean, what next? I mean, we know One Piece is in the case. Clothes might be next. I'm talking about stuff that came out around that era. Mm-hmm. I mean, nigga, case I mean, clothes. If case clothes ends like that's gonna be a whole nother. That's that's a. I mean, mm. shoot. I mean, it's about time for them to close the case, bro. <laughs> True. They it's the only anime with over fucking a thousand episodes and shit. I mean, hell, even Hunter Hunter's coming back manga wise. I mean, yeah, hell. Hunter Hunter's coming back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean, I think. I mean, rumor has it yeah, Tadashi right. finally broke down and, and got some assistance. He finally broke down. Like, you know what? I'm gonna get some assistance so we can finish the story out. All so- I know, all I know is the big three are back. It wasn't like they left, but the big three are back. Yep. And I can't wait for that day when all three of them are airing together simultaneously. I just want one crossover. That's all I want. That'd be fun. Just one time for the one one time. One time for the one time. I, I mean, there's one that one never stopped. True. Though people don't want to acknowledge that, but it's true. You know. One time for the one time, but it is what it is. One time, yeah. But one so, time. so we like we said we had a lot of stuff we wanted. We're gonna get into. Oh. Uh, we was talking Pokemon, so we might as well go ahead and let's go ahead and open it up there. If you're cool with that, right? Yeah, I'm cool with that. All right. Um, the one thing I know we definitely had on books. Let me switch it up here for us. Is we had that new uh, Lucario? Was it actually Lucario? Yep, that just came out. I haven't, I haven't grabbed it yet. Okay, give me a second. I got the image for y'all, so y'all can get y'all. Nope, that's the win list. Where is it? Oh, that yeah, keep that one. <laughs> that's an interesting one. That was an interesting. I'll go ahead. One. You can go ahead and do that while I look for the. Uh, the yeah, this is the... just for the Pokemon World Championships. This is how his team has done. Which looking at this kind of surprised me. I didn't know Pikachu was twelve and three. I did not realize that. Oh, Pikachu. You know, was this was money. I feel bad for Gengar though, low key. I kind of feel bad for Gengar. That's what I feel bad for. Dragon, I got screwed, yeah, but that's Ashes for him. Gengar should not have lost the way he did. I will give you that a hundred percent. That's like, crazy. Put some respect on Gengar's name, bro. Yeah. And put yeah, put out. some respect on Gengar's color too. True. <laughs> not you said put it on his color. <laughs> Dragon, I got screwed, but I mean. He got Ash got caught slipping. He ought to known better with that hypnosis cream in a combo. I'm sorry. He ought to known better with that one. He didn't pull it on so many people, so himself. Like it, it made no sense why he didn't expect it to come. That's my Dude, thing. You from Kanto? You ought to know hypnosis dreamer, dreamer. Bruh, bruh. What well, didn't they have a whole set of series where he got Gengar in the first place? Like um, when he got him as a uh, um, yeah, to beat Sabrina back in the day. But that was it. That was like a loner point. You only have for like a hot minute. That's or Haunter. Yeah, when he, he had Haunter when he was beating uh beating Serena. Yep. Surfage did it, like Surfage did his thing. I mean he he the one who got Garchomp low, but Surfage gimmick is, is a ma- it's a crit hit master. I mean it's mo- some of the better moves it has. I think it has an ability where like it's critical hits are higher than normal. So a couple of crit hits, doesn't matter who you are, you get crit hit it. That's it. You put some hurt. You put hurt on somebody. Oh yeah, that's that's a it's a done. It's a done. Pokemon zone. RPG. You get crits. That's it. But I feel bad for Gengar. I, that's who I do feel bad for is Gengar. That's who I really feel bad for. Uh, yeah, Gengar definitely. Manny said Ash lost some weight. He put some respect on Naruto and Baruto. So I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Y'all y'all know me. Mm-hmm. I, I'll put respect on Naruto all day long, but this kid got some growing to do. I'm sorry. I, can't, I still got to watch the show. He can't even keep me to watch his show. That's all I'm going to say. I'm I'm bad. I will eventually watch it all. I will. I will. But I heard, I, like, I kept hearing about all that. That's a whole other conversation. We're we not going to break the Pokemon conversation yet. I'll break it nah, later. That's, but a, yeah. that's another topic for another day. But Another conversation. <laughs> but the thing well, is, like, we'll, I've been. 
Yeah, but go ahead, Pan. I didn't mean to cut you off there. Oh, no, 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 you good, you good. We, we will, we will do it. I may even do it on the stream in Discord one week, just so we, just so y'all can. I proved y'all that I will watch. It, okay. No, honestly, right. when it comes to Boruto, I'll just and we'll get back to the Pokemon. But with Boruto, I always said that the anime wise, he's just Damian Wayne at the start. That's all he is. Thank if you, you know DC, oh my if, God. if you know, if you know DC comics, you know Damian Wayne. That is oh the Boruto gosh. of the start. That Thank is Boruto. You. I have been saying this for years now. Anime Boruto oh, at the start is Damian Wayne. That's all he is. I'm, uh, I'm with it. I am with it, yo. I agree with that wholeheartedly. <laughs> wholeheartedly. Like, like, if you know DC Comics, you know Damian Wayne, watch Boruto. The similarities at the start, he eventually becomes a better character, but honestly, Boruto should have been Sarada's series. Should have been Sasuke's daughter that was the main character. I'll keep that up. I'll keep that above. You'll see it more in an anime panda as you go along. You're like, damn, I kind of oh, wish it was, it was um Sarada or even Boruto's sister. Honestly, you see that some now better. Her, I could, I could have easily seen that. Like, I would, I yeah, Himawari as the show. show I probably would liked it more with her than Boruto. He just, he's, he's. Uh. Let me tell you something about Boruto, okay? Why I don't fuck with him? The nigga disrespects. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank First of you. All, let the any one of us try to talk to our dads the way this nigga be talking to our okay? Right? You coming back with Villa Lago because you ain't got the black smack off. Okay? I'll say this. I'll say this about Boruto. He gets humbled. And when Boy gets humbled, I'm not going to go to Manga Boy because he got humbled in a lot of ways, but. The an honestly, when it comes to Boruto, watch the anime because the, the manga is kind of like a Cliff Notes version. The characters are more a little bit more developed in, in the anime than the manga, which is saying a lot that the anime has more fleshed out characters than the manga. That's saying a lot. That is. That is. Well, I mean, they got the time, though. They got the time to do it, and they had the they had the, the opening to do it. You know what I mean? So it makes sense. I get yeah. it, but yeah. Yeah. One of my I things is, I, yeah, uh, my thing is, I wish they didn't do that flash forward at the start. I think it's been one of Boruto's biggest problems, low key. But that's another story for another day. Look at this, mm -hmm. Monty over here talking about so she liked the disrespect. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. We all about Boruto disrespect. <laughs> I mean, boy got humbled, but like I said, that's a. But going back to this, like Will Smith, the first Prince of Bel Air when he first moved into the house. Boy, you mm -hmm. understand? Oh, this early up. I can see that. I can see you that. Understand who house this is? <laughs> this is? Uncle Phil stepping in. You better, you better know who house this I, is. <laughs> that reminds me. I gotta watch the remake of Bel Air. That reminds me. But <laughs> getting back into this, like Ash, like Pikachu and Lucario have been like carrying Ash this whole tournament, low key. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I say, when you look at the record, like damn, Dragonite, he got screwed by Cynthia. I mean, all of them dropped to Cynthia is something cardio. <laughs> if you think about it, every Pikachu oh, yeah. gone, Dragonite gone, Gengar. I, mean, I know Gengar is five or six. Gengar, I mean, if it was they, gone drop, at least it was to Cynthia. That's all I'm going to say. You know what? I wouldn't even be mad. I'm like, cool. It, it was to Cynthia. Right. I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't even be mad. Cynthia. I'm with it. All right. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I was just thinking about, I was looking at when, um, um, Scarlet and Violet come out. We still don't have anything for the anime yet. They've been very quiet about the promotion for the Gen 9 anime. Which, as I've been saying the last couple of weeks, I think this is Ash's last ride. I've been saying that. So, here you go. This is kind of what you was talking about here, Reese, just, just then, about the whole setup from Ash. They, uh, Ooh, Ash, yes. uh, the ANET, they had uh, dropped this, and they were talking about what you were just saying about him and Cynthia being like that iconic battle. Mm -hmm. However, they're saying she's decided not to not to stop. That's something only a few other anime protagonists would probably pull off something like that. Luffy's probably one of them. Maybe Goku, and I'm probably stretching up those two. Goku's nah. Goku's never gonna stop. I'm sorry. No, but that what do you mean. what do you inspire someone to not retire though? I can see Luffy. Oh yeah, he is. Easily, I mean, I honestly, I think he did that almost every series. Like, it had it, had they not been villains, Goku's, and this is another thing we can get into later. Uh, I wanted to bring up was Goku 
Goku's ability, Goku, Goku's purity is what made him Goku. True. Right? It wasn't the fights. It was the we love the fights and all that, but Goku's purity is what made him Goku. It's the same thing we like in Luffy. You know what I mean? It's the same thing we liked in Naruto. It was their purity. And like as a person, their purity was like on a whole nother level, right? right? They had circumstances that brought that demon out of them. Cause that's literally what happened every time. You know True. what I'm saying? The demon came was brought out of them for various things that happened, but their purity as a person was like a one. Side you say note, Goku like, is pure. Yeah, he was. He yeah, was. Really. he's a I pure fighter. He he's I pure hearted. Goku's I Goku might be a lot of things, but one thing he is is pure. He might be a bad father. He might not. Be can you be boy. pure and be a bad father? You can, can you? But he can. But you can. So I did get, remember we had that bad father conversation. I also was one of the main ones saying that Goku isn't really a bad dad. Like he True. wanted his son to go the path he wanted to go. It's a typical parental argument. I want True. my kid to be a martial artist because I'm a martial artist. She wanted her kid to be a doctor because she was raised in books with her dad. I mean, she was the Ox King's daughter. Listen, you know what I mean? Being neglectful so, is not being. A good dad. But is being dead neglectful? I mean, he was dead. Well, nigga, the who first told series, you he was die? dead. Who told you he was to die? I mean, he was protecting his family. He be looking you to know die. What, what a husband's supposed to do? This nigga be True. looking what he's supposed to do? Like, <laughs> he was fighting an alien invasion and died. <laughs> like, this, nigga, this nigga be dying when he not fighting the alien invasion. Sure. All right, we're not talking about later in the series. We're talking about immediately, oh, oh, okay. about like oh, okay. initially. Oh, okay. <laughs> even when you oh, come okay. back to life after that, it was more of a I got to prep for the next evil thing. And if that's the case, let's right. be honest. If he didn't prep, no one else was going to do it. So sure. we've seen too many timelines where that happened. Right. He was still taking care of his kid, even though it didn't look right. He said he didn't know how, how to be a dad because he had no role models. That's a false, Monty. That's a false because Grandpa Goku was that dude. You mean Grandpa Gohan? Gohan, yeah. Grandpa Gohan was that dude. <clears throat> like, yeah. probably not the right. Grandpa Gohan, yes, but maybe other male world. male around him, probably. I, I think I see what Amani's trying to say. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see sorry. what she's coming yeah. from. Yeah. Uh, all he knows is how to fight. He, I mean, yeah, I, I agree with you. I agree. Like, he, Grandpa Gohan taught him to, to save himself. He taught him how to protect himself and protect others mm-hmm. as well. He didn't like, teach him the real world because he didn't live. Grandpa Gohan left lived in the what? He lived in the, the swamps and the jungles. Yeah, you know in what the I mean? mountains. He had to defend himself yeah. living out there. So like he, he they knew, but they didn't know. No, you know. He sound like excuses to me. <laughs> his, real dad, okay, now, his real dad. His real. Okay, so okay, Monty. So you got to remember. Was it? I forget his name. Bardock. 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 Bardock is his dad. I always yeah. want to say that's his brother. Raditz. You're thinking of Raditz. Raditz. There we go. Raditz is a brother. I was. I was forget. So Bardock sent him off like they sent Superman off. That was and how he got. With Superman either. But it's not. It's not that his dad didn't teach him. He couldn't teach him. His planet was about to die. Like <laughs> I'm trying to save my kid. I'm gonna do we what I can. Talking about, we talking about Goku. No, I'm talking about Goku. She said yeah. her her dad sent him off to, to to fight the planet. It was like, yeah, he sent him. He left him as a baby to fight, but he kicked him off planet to save him. Like, yeah, he did. He did something most Saiyans don't do. He care about their kids. Saiyan character was like, great. yeah, he like he had a whim something bad when he wanted. He had just had a, it was a, on a whim. He's like, you know what, I'm gonna save my kid. Like, that was a whim. And, the now saying they did raise their kids. Now they might not have raised them in the best atmosphere, but Vegeta, I mean, he had a dad. His right. dad raised him to be a fighter and the prince of Saiyans. Like his dad did that. Broly's dad. Yeah, Nick is the prince of Saiyans. Now, Broly's dad, dad is a piece of raised best. him. Like he raised him. Like, so you can't say they didn't raise their sons. Because they don't raise them in a the right manner. No, it's on Monty. Yeah, Monty's almost yeah. they didn't raise their sons. 
yeah. Like Broly's dad, the whole thing about Broly was his dad raised him the way he did. Like they yeah, raised their he's son. A psychopath, even though yeah. I love now I wouldn't say Broly a, a psychopath. I would yeah. not say Broly's a psychopath. He no. just was not see, raised right. Base level Broly is a psychopath. Okay, <laughs> not super. Maybe base not. Maybe Broly, oh, maybe no. He's not base level Broly. Base level black haired tiara on the head. Broly. He's not a psycho. He, yeah, he was a very psycho. compassionate individual. Oh, is that what we Ooh. call psychopaths these days? Oh, y'all y'all snapped him by killing his dad. Like, listen. But who wouldn't go once with their dad get, get murked? Who wouldn't go? Like, you murked? kill my daddy, I'm going to go say, I, 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 say, I ain't <laughs> saying he wasn't justified to become a psychopath. I just said the nigga a psychopath. Bro. Oh, yeah, but you say he was a psychopath at base level. And I'm like, no, nah, yeah, not at base, at base level. level Maybe that Dragon Ball Z version of Broly, but not bro, super. Black hair, tiara on the forehead. Right. He's no, talking, he's talking about, he's, he's talking about DBZ Broly. Okay. DBZ Broly, yeah, I would agree. Super Broly, no. Nah, Super Broly, that my nigga. <laughs> Hell, even DBZ Broly, once he went sane, super sane, that my nigga too. Oh, big old brolic ass green head motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm we gotta come back. We we gotta pay, we gotta circle back to this. We'll and this is why we never get through everything on our list. This is why it's great. Right. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I love let's it. circle back. Let's let's pin that and say that discussion for another day. Oh oh hold on. So uh, if we're gonna pin that discussion, I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna throw this little cue ball in there, and then we can pin it. With, I'm gonna pin it with the rest of it. You ready? All right. Well, Vegeta doesn't deserve to ever have gone Super Saiyan. He should never have gone Super Saiyan because it says they had to be pure of heart. To become Super Saiyan, that was the original lore for yeah, Dragon this, this, What we now gonna do is try to pin it after you slander Vegeta's no. name. <laughs> okay, we not doing this, sir. When in the uh, as a wise man once said, when in that when it comes to Dragon Ball Z, just go with Team Four Stars version because it makes a hell of a lot more sense. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> you got a point, but it's real though. But like he shouldn't have been able to. But hold up, hold up, fault, pause, pause. Did Monty really just say this? Yes, I believe you. I agree. Pure, Monty, I agree. I agree. Heart. Pure, pure what of heart? Pure vengeance of heart? Pure, pure unadulterated pure. badass. Hatred? Exactly. Of heart? Like pure. His emotion pure were pure as hell. Was the emotion anger? Yes. No, no, but pure of heart pure. is not pure. It was no. pure. Pure hatred, <laughs> pure, but, pure. It's pure. You? Hey, let me say, but, to be pure, you gotta be good. You gotta be. He's pure kind of aggression. The man is pure aggression, pure hatred, pure, pure vengeance, pure anger. It's I'm gonna get to that in a minute, Duke. Don't pure. worry. Go ahead, Rob. Oh no, I was no, I'm just agreeing with him with Volker. That's why I was doing that. Exactly, like, it's pure. Or like, they, or like, they, or like team first heart. Or pure team of heart. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the thing he's pure of. Pure of heart, not pure of hatred, not, not pure of assassination, not pure of I want to kill everybody. Yeah, he says he gotta be pure. That's all it say. Pure of heart. Say pure of heart. It does say pure of heart. It does okay, say pure well, of heart. His heart was pure of vengeance and anger pure. and <laughs> and resentment and he was just pissed that he was the one pure right pure resentment that he was not the one like i'm just saying by the original lore he shouldn't have been able to change but that was Toriyama who likes this flip shit on the fly so that means of course of course i'm not knocking it i'm just saying what would have happened though had they went with that original lore that they brought into the story like that was what the story was originally made from you know what i'm saying everything up until goku churned was he had to be of pure heart, and that's why none of them before him had ever done it. Listen, all I'm saying though is pure is not mixed or adulterated with any other substance or material. This nigga was pure vengeance. Yep. Okay, so I will say this. I will say this. So Monty's money statement here is the only reason why I'm I feel that they allowed him to do it later in the series because he eventually started to care for things however all i'm saying is based on the original 
he shouldn't have been able to turn because the first time he turned Super Saiyan was because he trained. It wasn't because he was pure nothing. He had just beat a kid and been Majin and, to, and went to go to Majin for to get back at somebody. Maybe like, they all yeah. okay, let's they think all about this. Nah, there but no one had that ass with coming. Let's keep it a buck. <laughs> he told all that. Yeah, yeah. No this is all I'm saying. Think about it. How many kids you know would have talked like go on to the video and wouldn't have gotten their ass with? Let's keep it a buck. Listen, they all be beating on kids. <laughs> yeah, let's we're gonna have to circle back to this saying, drug world. We all this, be beating I'm on not kids. saying Gohan wasn't reckless with the mouthpiece. I'm not. You got you get that from Chi Chi. That's where you get that from. I mean, between Chi Chi, Goku, and Piccolo, I mean, he had three parents. Let's be honest. Oh, he had two. <laughs> he had two, and Goku was just there. And Goku was there. Goku created him, but he only had two Goku, parents. Goku, Goku just, dropped just a happy. Goku just right. a happy. Not the seed off. I mean, oh. I mean, shoot, we just got a good example in the superhero movie. I'm not. I don't know how long we going. Like I said, you see Dragon Ball superhero. Even Piccolo gets in his ass a little. It go on the ass a little bit about it. So, let, oh yeah, Trunks is definitely more reckless as a kid than Gohan. That's he gets that from Bulma. He gets that. Like, but that's Bulma. That's dead Bulma. That's definitely Bulma. Uh, I do have to go back to this, though, because I didn't want to miss it, where Duke was like, yeah, let's let's make sure we talk about how Gohan, Gohan right uses special beam cannon. Yeah, I dead. wonder who he got that from. <laughs> his dad? <laughs> Daddy. His, his dad? His real dad? You know his real dad? Right. Yeah, that's crazy. That's one of those things that's just crazy. like. Not his father, but his dad. You know, because there's a difference. Oh, oh yeah, man. that's a that's a, that's another conversation for another day. It is, it is. All right. But today was brought to you by Water, Gatorade, and Guinness Stout. Hmm. And then I'll throw in a little Minute Maid fruit punch as usual. Got to go with the classics. Yeah, you know oh, of course, of course. All right. Those and is... the trip is uh, my hero. Yeah. My hero. My well, hero. As Another franchise that's as almost at the end too. So yeah, this yeah. is true. This is true. They are coming to their end. They are coming to their end. So anyway, it is ending. We got a lot. We entered a new era with a lot of anime. That, that that's for sure. It's gonna be a lot of open room with some anime. Yeah, let's keep uh, your eyes. It's gonna be some bangers coming out. Hopefully, in the next couple of years, we open pray. Oh okay. yeah. Uh, speaking of updates, uh, this actually. Was a little bit of additional clarification from, from what Monty was saying. You are correct. We did get some more stuff out. They are doing 52 episodes total across four arcs, four different breakdowns. Um, 13. I don't I don't agree with it. I still don't agree with it, like I said last week. But that's what they're going to do. That's what they're going to do. What the heck just happened? How did that? I so gonna be four, four arcs to 13 episodes each. Yep, pretty uh, much. I mean, it could be possible, though. I mean, I don't know how many of these chapters were like just nothing but fighting and action. Um, a lot of Naruto chapters, when there was a lot of action, they could do six chapters. They could do six, six chapters in one episode if there's nothing but fighting. Even my hero has done it a couple of times. They've done six it's chapters what, in one episode. I mean, unless they banging out, if they blade to blade the entire time, I'm with it. Don't get me wrong. Right? If they're blade to blade the entire time, I'm with it. But it's bleach, right? Like, which means it's not gonna be the entire time. We're gonna need at least four or five episodes of figuring ish out That's per fair. segment. That is per fair. segment, so at least 20 of those are gonna be them figuring shit out yeah. before the fight, during the fight, or after the fight. That's fair. That's fair. So that's almost half for them to say these last 52 episodes is a third. Of the manga, a third of the total manga for Bleach, and you're gonna break it down to 52 episodes. I'm cramming that bitch, like, 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 like Rod said. If they do all fights, I can see it, and I can see that. I can also see this being fight heavy because he did just get his final bankai right at the end of bankai. right before. You got to put the space in there. It don't count. <laughs> don't count without the space. That, there's a whole difference, but like, so if they're coming in blood, like they if they come in for blood day one, bet it's probably the only way they can can do it. Like that's the only way I can see it because they're not going to have like do five episodes and then the rest of the season just be filling. 
Bleach is notorious for that, and I and I don't think they're gonna do that because people will just be pissed to be Attack on Titan all over again. Oh yeah, no, that's that's not gonna happen. That can't happen. There will be right. There will be rights. There will be rights. Oh yeah, street. and uh, and Disney. If that happens, Disney will not. Okay, I will say this, and y'all tell me what y'all think. Let's say that happens because Bleach is notorious for filler, right? And uh, you know me. Even I say, if I'm saying Bleach got filler, you know it got filler because I'm the first person to be like. That's just background for the story, right? And I'm usually the same way with certain animes too, like Naruto, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh. I think some of the better Yu-Gi-Oh OG Yu-Gi-Oh filler arcs were better than the actual series, but that's another discussion for another day. Right? It's backstory for your character, you know, like you getting to learn the person, figure out their motives, things of that nature. But my thing is this: if they fill 25 episodes of this with filler content. And they're only giving us 52 total, and they're not bringing nothing else after that. This is the end, like end all be all. And we didn't wait 10 years for this. Disney will have hell to pay because we're not gonna blame you. Get what I'm saying? But Disney's only distributing, they're gonna get the smoke because they're the bigger company out of everybody, and I get that, right. All right, so Disney, I'm going to blame Disney straight out. We're blaming Disney because we know that they had something to do with it. We're not going to blame Titan. We're not going to blame. We're not blaming Kudo, Kubo for this. We won't. You won't blame Shueisha. You won't blame Periot. You won't. You'll blame Disney. Oh, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. So Monty said one hundred and sixty-four bleaches, three sixty-six are filler. So okay, now again, I'm not disagreeing. That's- with you. Now that's two thirds. They got the filler. That's two thirds, technically, right? A third of it, I'd say. Yeah. So filler's okay. a third, a third worth of show, and then we got the last third that we're doing right now. Okay. Even so get that. You're cutting it. Cl- I see your point now, Pan. Now I'm seeing that map. I can see your point. You're cutting yeah. it a little close. That's yeah. a, that's a. If you gave me a hundred episodes, I'd be okay. Honestly, I can see 75 myself. I can, I can give you that. Sure. Because that means it's 25 episodes of conversation just to build the story and 50 episodes of fighting. And I other stuff. I have a question, though, based on something you said. This is a little fun question. It's a fun question. They said you could see there being a lot of fighting because he just got his bankai, you know, his latest bankai. Right, right, right. So, what is, and this goes out to the fans too, what is your favorite Bankai? Oh, um, I, I didn't get that form of Breach to see Bankai, so I can't answer it. Dang, favorite? Mm-hmm. Like, oh. I'll be honest with y'all, I stopped at Rescue Group here because I got bored of the anime. I'm going to keep it a buck. That's where I stopped. It's all good. It's all good. Like, once you got into the Bankai, it, it, it sped up a little bit. So I will say, mm, okay, right, so, so I'll, to help, I'll say what mine is. Go mine ahead. is Sembo Zakura, which is Yakuya's. Okay, yeah, Byakuya's. That's my favorite Bankai. It's just, it's just dope as fuck. So it's a, it's a, it's a. I got three. Okay. I got three. Um. Grimjaw's Bankai. Who? Grimjaw. Okay. From Heko Mundo. Yeah, that's a good one. Coyote Starks. Mm. Two Guns and the Wolves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mundo. And when Bleach goes full, uh, oh. full hollow with okay. the horns. Yeah, that's a crazy ass one. Like with the horns. When he goes full yeah. hollow with the horns. Okay, okay. Should give y'all an idea here. I'll, I'll pull. I'll start pulling some of these for y'all so y'all can get some images. All right. And remember though, I'm asking favorite, not what you think is the strongest. Yeah, yeah, no, these, these are just my favorite ones. Yeah, just favorite. Like when you see it, you like nigga that shit. It just, it just make me feel good in my soul. Yeah, you're right. You made you feel good in your soul. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Oh, let's see here. That's why I like Brachios because his shit is his shit is pretty as fuck, but the shit deadly as as fuck as well. 
I mean, oh, yeah. it's, it's when you turn light. cherry blossoms into fucking blades, nigga, that you can't see, that you can't see. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, some it's... deadly shit, my nigga. That's some fucking deadly shit. Like you can breathe, you could have breathed his stuff in. Literally, you would have never know. Breathing in that shit. But here's a simple. Oh, that's the wind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bum. And basically, the blades would come out the ground and then just break into a million. Each one would break in, break into a million petals yeah. of metal, just like floating, floating through the ground, through the air. It's like it's just a million fucking razor blades, just fucking. Flying around yeah. per blade, <laughs> yeah. per right, right. Fucking... There you go. That, that right there. Okay. <laughs> My symbols I can see. Motherfuckers, they, 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 they understand pure beauty. And oh, come, Jesus. Okay, that's a good one too. I like that one. Not a joke. I'm not gonna lie. Like I go, that's that's a good one. Side. Yeah, Jesus Bankai was not, especially the first time you saw it. Here, I'll pull it up here for y'all. The first time you saw that bad boy come out, the sm- when what I say the first <laughs> one when he said, "Oh, I want the smoke." <laughs> oh, the Konji Kos one. The Konji. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This shit. I was just like, oh, oh. That shit deadly as hell, too, bro. It's the like deadliness, bro. All of that is like venom and poison bro, and all that. That shit ugly as hell, too. Bruh. When it's ugly, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's either ugly or it's beautiful. One of the two. Right. This was Starks with the wolves. Yeah. And he just had a pack of wolves that just came out of nowhere and came for yellows. Like, out of nowhere. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. That is kind of cool. Just, right. I just went here, nigga. Just a bunch of wolves out here. All out there. No and babies. then my boy Grimjaw, he was just a, he was a he was a a human leopard. Is and what he, he was. You know we fuck with leopards out here. So, I mean, I'm a jaguar, so you know we fuck with leopards. <laughs> like he his whole body turned into a human cat person. Like it was just he went in. Human so, cat. Hey, what up, Jay? Told you he was gonna pop in. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. So, Jay, sure. you've been deemed the shiny Pokemon of the group. Oh, so we can the shiny version of the shiny Pokemon. Oh, I can tell my story. Hey, <laughs> and with Jay in the chat, I can tell my story. So, Jay, I got a story for you. Me and and Shaniqua, we were out shopping today. Actually, went to um a GameStop, a, a game store, actually. So we're buying like some Genshin Equal board game for her birthday. And, you know, we're looking around and the shop guy, we were looking around and the guy said, um, I was acting like, yo, where are the Pokemon cards? I mean, not Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. At? He says, you know what? We don't sell, we don't sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards because the customer's are assholes. Pretty much in a nutshell. That's what he said. Wow. Wait, we don't sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards what? They don't sell Yu-Gi-Oh cards because the customer the, the the customers are assholes. Oh, wow. asshole customer. Wow. I was like, you know what? That makes sense. Yeah, but Jason <laughs> asshole. I love him. Not I, was like, I was like, wow. I was like, okay, same yeah. We're all assholes. Yeah, yeah so that's, can't be mad at it. I, I respect them because they had because we went to see Magic. They had Dungeons and Dragons. They had. Pretty much everything but Yu-Gi-Oh. I was like, "Where's Yu-Gi-Oh?" At? I was like, oh, "That was a little strange." That's what I asked. So I was kind of curious. Niggas wow. be assholes. But I get it. I mean, because you know, do something like if people come in and ask for the cards that they never buy, and then they're so pretentious about it too. So I'm like, you know what? I get it. Oh yeah, everybody's got they cert, certain fandoms are just like that, and Yu-Gi-Oh definitely has that rep, unfortunately, mm-hmm. of having one of those fandoms. So. Oh, uh, Dragon Dragon Ball fandoms is like that too. Oh, yeah, they are Goku fans. The stands are. I think. I think it's when when a person gets to the, the point where they're a stand is when it becomes a problem. You know who else? You know who's the worst stands? That stands. Oh man, that's a whole episode in itself. Nigga, stands are bad. 
don't I love I love Batman as a you know I'm not DC but I fuck with Batman but nigga bat stands no first of all if you ask any bat stand anything Batman can't lose because he get prep time and that's it that's the answer to everything but hold it but here's my thing this was the thing that always got me but life don't give you prep time my guy nigga, like that's, that's the answer though that's the answer though <laughs> But it like, don't matter if it makes sense, nigga. That's the answer. Time. Like, <laughs> I know what you mean. I hear you. I hear you. We get it. Like, that. Hey, nah, One Piece stands are the worst. So, I will say any stand. They are bad. They are bad. That's bad. bad. Anytime you get to the point where you're a stan, it's a problem. Yeah, that's yeah. fact. If you're a fan, you can enjoy the fandom. But the point where you become a stan, I believe it's. Batman like, stands are saints. Batman stands are saints compared to what? You. Goku, maybe Goku. A Chobit stand. Goku stands. I might need like actual liquor. The only person, the only fandom that I can see the Batman stands are not as bad as or Superman stands. Bat Bat stands are just as bad as Superman stands, and they are horrible. Horrible. She says she she didn't even say they might. Bad, she said they're saints. The Batman stands are saints. That's a hot take. If I've ever heard saints, one, bro, that, saints, that's bro. that's a that that's not personal. Personally, that's not personal. Says saints, bro, saints. That's you sound like word. a Goku that's stand right choice. now. That's what you that sound like. Word choice. <laughs> that was the word choice. We still love you. You're still welcome. There's, there's room for everybody in the wilds of pandemonium, but I'm just saying, my fam. <laughs> Mm. Hold, on, hold on, real quick. Hold on, real quick. Oh. <clears throat> Saint, a person acknowledged as holy or virtuous and typically regarded as being in heaven after death. Very virtuous, kind, or patient. That don't even go with it. I mean. Let's agree to disagree. I mean, she said saints, bro. We don't agree to disagree on that one. I can't. She I can't say saints, nothing. Bro. But yes, yeah, saints. Nah, they definitely ain't saints. Mm, saints no, saints, bro. Compared to some other stands, most bat stands are defending Batman because people are trying to downplay the great. Look, there's no great detective work in everyday life. The, y'all always want to get this man prep time. Life don't give you prep time. Life comes at you fast. Not Ain't that the whole that, no. She ain't even say they better than other stands. She said you did they're say they're saints. saints though. Did say they're saints. <laughs> Bro. My name is Vocab. Okay. You know what that mean? That means words hold a lot of weight. Saints is what she said, my nigga. She's still saying saints. Hey, you know what? Look, like I said, I don't, I'm not going oh, to. Oh, New Orleans Saints. Okay. Right. That's what she Reggie Bushes. I she, get it. Gotcha. I get it. There you go. All so right. What is the last time you heard about Reggie Bush? I um, mean, just got right, a Wendy's I'm commercial, sure. honestly. You saw it today. He has a Wendy's, Wendy's commercial. Mm, I'm done. I see. He, yeah, they brought back. I think they brought back what was it, a pretzel pub, bacon cheeseburger, and they kind of made fun of the fact that he lost the Heisman. I was like, oh wow, wow. wow. I mean, hell, I mean, bring this up too. I mean, there was the, I mean, Notre Dame just welcomed back um, Monte Teo back for the first. I think it was, I think this hey, weekend. Teo, mm, yeah, uh, yeah. Like if you saw that Netflix documentary about him with the girlfriend, oh boy. Yeah. We we all that man an apology. We all owe that man an apology. I'll leave it at that. But oof, this, to kind of get us, we were originally talking about all the gaming stuff, and we kind of just went on a tangent there. Oh, a we lot of ga- we always, we do, always do. It is what it is. Um, but while we're in anime and stuff like that, and on because we, we were finishing that up, and let's go back to that. I'm not. We we not. We're not ignoring the stands it's just that i feel that anybody who's a stand no matter what you are where you're standing standing 
we need to be more flexible with our thought process. And I got my stands too. So it, I'm not, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got theirs. Everybody got their spot where they fall into. So, um, but I think all of us need to, you know, learn to be a little more flexible on the, on some of those things. I'm not saying every stand is bad, but we got to mm-hmm. admit that the majority of our fandoms, those that are at the far end of the stand pool, <laughs> they be yeah. taking it too far. Bro. They be taking place, mm-hmm. taking stuff places we don't that don't need to be took. Don't like yo, to y'all bring that back, son? Right, toxic. As if I'm saying toxic. Because, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not bringing up that. Mm-mm. No, I just thought of something. What Batman says, yeah. compare them to a sports team. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. No, nah, I want to hear it. But, what the the Dolphins fans or no. Dallas fans? Which one? You just option two fans. I was gonna leave that I figured they're like Dallas fans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the cow bitches. <laughs> That's why I said I was lead out. I said I was gonna leave it alone. You know I'm a Giants fan, oh. so we don't fuck with them niggas over here. <laughs> he said the cowgirls. <laughs> Jay said the cowgirls. Cow bitches. Giants, giants, help oh, us, Cowbells are delusional. She said cowbells are delusional. Hey, but we're yes, going to know right now, y'all. <laughs> You're very right. They are there are toxic ones in every group, and honestly, and this is one thing that I think we need to as yeah, anime fans, definitely and manga fans, and you know, comic book fans, just in blurs in general, we got to start weeding out these yeah. other people in our right. fandom. Like it's our job to be like, "Yo, fam, you, I'm gonna just cut that out." Because I can't stand gatekeepers. For everybody, bro. since you're talking about that, I Say again? hate gatekeepers, bro. Who are yeah, you to yeah. tell somebody yeah. because they don't know as much as you do that they? can't be a part of our community like the fuck nigga everybody yeah, got to start somewhere bro true but you gotta but you gotta learn from the older it's head right like come on bro you can't be gatekeeping like oh you didn't know that before. like no nah, bro we'll teach that motherfucker then right educate come on bro educate that's educate. the thing you know educate out here in these streets bro it's like it's enough it's so much anime on these streets i don't care if you were born when it, they came out the only people around when anime first started, oh my bad, there aren't any more around when anime first started. Like, yeah. let's just be real. That was a whole different, about two generations from it. I mean, anime and manga really didn't take off to after World War Two. You know, right. history. Yeah. Right. So they, they're bare, There are some that are still around. There are some. Mm-hmm. But they just let's be real. They are. They are few and far between. They better know us our president right now. Keep it a buck, but mm-hmm. right, right, and they probably they're probably the ones that are drawing the manga still. Let's mm-hmm. also keep it a buck. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah, you oh know yeah. What I mean? Ramon, uh, what was the other one with the little kid? I forget his name. Darn it. But yeah, all those old anime, all of old manga. Nah, nah, y'all gotta. We gotta stop all this gatekeeper stuff. Like we gotta, we gotta, we gotta start reading manga to Shonen, nigga. Right. Get we gotta that. start calling people out for this stuff for they for what they right. doing. Crazy. That's the other thing. Everybody's scared to. Oh, I don't want to. Nah, nah. They they bold enough to. If you bold enough to call me, call somebody out and be a gatekeeper, you bold enough to get called out on what you don't know. That's big thing. To paraphrase something from a certain movie, people get canceled every day. Dean, I'll leave it at that. Right. People, People get canceled, get canceled every, day. every day, B. Like it's it's not Niggas it's, it's not a day, that's man. something that's a call that I'm putting out there. Like we're gonna do a hashtag no gatekeeping. Like that's gonna be some that's some real yeah, stuff. That we bro, Listen, I'm not I say you. it all the time, bro. It's one of the things I take pride in. I've probably forgot more anime than most people in our generation have watched, and I don't be trying to fucking gatekeep people, bro. Yep. Like, come on, my G. Let my motherfuckers move at their own pace. Money said, like, if a person wants to know, don't force a history lesson. That's true. Let them enjoy and invest however exactly. deep they want to. And that yeah. that is very true. Let yeah. them enjoy to their level, their comfort level. You know, they don't. It ain't got to be a oh, well, this came from this, this came from this. Don't get me wrong. Letting somebody know, yo, hey, this was the this this came before it. You might want to check it out. It's all it's yeah. all in how you do it. Suggesting something and fucking trying to. Force 
people like that shit. True, like, true. Like, uh, I'll throw an example. I make someone watching my hair and say, "Hey, if you like my hair, go give Naruto a try." That was something that came out right. for Naruto. Or right. if you like Naruto, go watch. Or if you like One Piece or Naruto, go back and watch OG Dragon Ball, not Z. Just watch Dragon Ball. You'll probably see a lot of a, a lot of stuff that you see inspiration from. You know, with people who've never seen Fish OG and Dragon Ball, Ball? right? No, like, 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 like go go, go watch New Hakusho. Show. Right? Right? Like like, Yo, know, I'm I'm rewatching New Hakusho Show right now. That's I'm at true. Yusuke versus Tagoro. I'm at Yusuke, Yusuke versus Tagoro that's, right now. That's a good place to be. Oh, yeah. That's a, That's a good place, place to be. <laughs> I was like, I just, I was watching last night. I was like, nope, let me stop. I gotta go to bed. Like, Ron with one half. Yep. See, mm-hmm. right. Take him back to Scryed. You know what I mean? Uh, take him back to what was what's the other one? I forget the mech one. Zoids. Zoids. Um, uh, Zoids. Right. Kenichi. You know, yeah. people want to hey, know that Kenichi Earth Might's disciple. My right. first oh, movie. Amani makes a great point. She's talking about like during you see, especially during the MCU stuff, you see it's so I, seeing it so much with yep. She Hulk in particular. Yeah, facts. Yeah. I agree. And and so and I will say this: like, I am personally, I'm bad about watching an MCU movie and doing my best to not spoil it for someone who's not a comic person. You know what I mean, or has not read any of the comics or anything yeah. like that. Because mm-hmm. I'm watching it from my perspective, right? right. So my comments are going to be made from the perspective of somebody who knows. See, I have that, that issue too, too, but not spoiling shit. Right, to so not spoil it for them. Or okay. how about this? Everybody now I, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it a step further and be like, all right, now I got to make sure that when I'm helping explain things, that I'm not, I'm not ruining the movie for them. Right. Not, exactly. not spoiling it, but just like not giving too much history. Or give it enough history to make them curious. Now they want to go look it up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That sort of thing. It's right. a, it is a, it can be a thin line for gatekeeping. It can be a very thin line for gatekeeping. It is, bro. It is. Right. And you got to watch yeah. it. I mean, I mean, you talk about video games. Yeah, you talk about them. anime and everything. Because right. even some of these video games we're going to talk about, they got them fandoms. The segue into the video oh, games. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, we were talking about, before the show started, we were talking about, like state of play in on the Nintendo Direct this week. We were talking about that. Mm-hmm. And I know I kept saying I state of play didn't really do it for me outside of Tekken. Didn't really do it for me. Honestly. Even I was looking up some of the stuff with um Capcom. Even Capcom's um little direct was kind of whack. I mean, the main thing was the Street Fighter Six stuff, and then uh, Surprisingly, out of the blue, a Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection, which hey. completely right, out right. of the blue. I so uh, I was hoping for something Ace Attorney related, but um, there's all the close to Chicago Cubs. There's always next year. <laughs> and to anybody in 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 the in the viewership, if you want to buy me a Switch so I can play with these guys, feel free. What he Lord. said. Look, I'm real. I mean, if y'all want to get him a switch, please do. Yeah, give me a switch so I can play with you guys. Hashtag give vocab a switch. Hashtag give vocab a switch. <laughs> okay, mad respect to Monty because I'm I'm a retired Yankee fan myself, so she gets his respect for that one. So what happened? What she said? Oh, Yankees! Yes, sir. So just so y'all, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna like as we're talking, I'm just gonna throw this is the Nintendo Direct as we're talking about it. I'm gonna throw it in the background for you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jamie's yeah, yeah, <laughs> a switch too. So yeah. that's that's part of what we got. Get both have a switch. We need a hashtag for uh for J two, please, Monty. Yeah. Get they both need switches. Oh, hold up. This one right here too. This was now you. This I'm is not a fire. Lie, this is Fire, yes. Emblem, I Fire Emblem. Yes. So the fact that they actually they just dropped three hopes earlier this year, like February. True. I forgot about that. And now they're dropping this again before I think before the year ends. Like Fire they Emblem. Fans, they eating good. Fire right. Emblem fans are eating good. What's that? Fire it's Emblem? What is that? Fire I, don't Emblem. Know, I don't know that. Put me it's, on. It's, a, it's an Pretty Panda. Is what? Go ahead. 
Oh, it's one of these. Okay, that's why I don't know. Yeah. I'm playing those type of games. So, the storyline is when I say the storyline is deep. I'm I'm new to it personally, right? Mm -hmm. I'm new to the storyline myself. I started playing it with three hopes, which is the one that just released earlier this year. The gameplay is more Muso style on in the on in three hopes. So y'all remember Dynasty Warriors? Yeah, that plays. That's how the three hopes one plays. It's like that, which I'm all for. You know what I mean? A hundred boys coming at me and we just going to town. I'm game for that. But this one, I guess the rest of the storyline is more like this, where it is more turn based. Uh, but when I say the intricacy of the storyline is a one, it is, is that a, a lot one. of lore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like this this game is probably at least 10 to 12 years old minimum. Yeah, this is a like this is this series it mostly got more relevant relevant because if this is one series that benefited from Smash Brothers is 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 Fire Emblem. It was one franchise. Oh yeah, it definitely benefit from it definitely benefited from Smash uh okay. from coming into Smash. Yeah. Yeah. All right, later Jay. All right, Jay. All right, G. But yeah, January is coming out. Like they 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 released one last year in February. This one's coming out in, in January this next year. Like they are on a roll right now. They're on Nintendo a roll. just like dropping dropping Boston. Like I said, you know Spade, you know what Boston means. I'm not mad, about- Rod. I can't disagree with you. Like they ran a good hand. I'm not saying they did they, they they lost. They definitely ran a good hand. <laughs> but this is a collector's edition. Like, look at this. They had the cards. That's beautiful. The book, that's the- that's nice. All of it. That's fire. That artwork is crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. Crazy. I like it, I like it bro. This is why niggas running Boston's out here, bro. So I'm going to finish. Uh, just so y'all know, I, I do have, I've already started the, the, like I said, the three hopes. I'm running games. Play, so we'll we'll have games There's yeah, another we'll one that surprisingly they're bringing over to the Switch. It takes two, which I'm going to they got. Two. It takes two to make a thing go viral. Uh, I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd get a game like this on the Switch, but I said a lot of these games, like the Switch's portability, like they can get to keep getting bangers that I would get the Switch version just for the portability, honestly. It's honestly, honestly, I think that's why Nintendo has, has lessened, like, opened their gate, if that makes sense. Because we all know Nintendo, remember, we, we talked about that before, right? Nintendo is really big on gatekeeping their games. True. We just talk about gatekeeping. You know, they're talking about gatekeeping, right? But they're they're really big on that, especially like when it came to um, gameplay or even on like Switch and stuff like that. They did not want anybody to to be on their to be playing their stuff. Like they, you, we recently were able to start doing uh, Twitch games. Seriously, so. The fact that they're opening up like this is monumental. Monumental. Um, oh, speaking of uh, switches and shit, that. when does that 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 uh violet switch come out, Rod? I think November. I don't have the exact date in front of me. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, that's the one I want. Here's another one yeah. that's good. Uh, there's got a new expansion to the Xenoblade that just came out this year. They've already got a, another expansion. I know, and they got already. four, and they got four volumes of DLC coming out. Okay, uh-huh. Neck uh-huh. ass. Yeah, she's a machine. She's just a straight machine. Yeah. Why she look like Cell though? She do. You know, I kind of, I didn't, I didn't notice that you said it. Why? Why she got a long? It reminds me of Cell and uh, Rick Ralph, the character at the end of Rick and Ralph. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the virus, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they've already got updates for that going on. Uh, they got the new SpongeBob. They haven't had a good SpongeBob game in, in some years. I'm hey, not I bought a Helio list. I'm definitely not a SpongeBob fan. I'm sorry. You Y'all don't like SpongeBob. SpongeBob no. has just been no. I'm down. telling you, Bob Johnson on me. I that go for it. I cannot stand SpongeBob with a passion. It, it, I get uh, it. SpongeBob does have his fans. I'm surprised. I'm surprised they still honestly to bring this up just as a peppy. I 
Once I found out the creator of SpongeBob died and he didn't want the series to continue, I stopped watching SpongeBob just because I felt I, I respect that. that. That's the so respect. That's, that's how it, earlier too. I can't tell you the last time I watched the episode, but I fuck with SpongeBob himself. That no, that's well, just like, sacrifice. Like, that's not fair. You want to get the creator's witches and continue a series, but yeah, I, awesome. I, yes, you I don't want to do that. But, that's mad. That's mad disrespectful. Even Japan doesn't do that. People. People pass away and they don't even continue the series. Like, like, yeah. like the what's it? The dude with Berserk. I think that's probably a rare exception. That's oh yeah, studio, that's a rare rarity. Well, motherfuckers want money, bro. But think about how long it's been since that happened too. Like, mm-hmm. Berserk has been out and in the Berserk has been not touched for almost a decade. You know what I'm saying? And now they're starting to do it. You know what I mean? Moving forward. So I can't be mad at it. Side note: what? Tunic will, is out on Steam right now. Uh, it's also is out, is out on Steam already for those who don't have Switch or are also are PC gamers. The idea behind this one I thought was real cool. So y'all saw that little book right there? Yeah, that was the instruction manual on how to play. So you have to actually go through and play the game to unlock how to read the pages in the book. <laughs> That's different. I like that. That's a different way. Right. To do it. <laughs> right. I thought that was cool. So. Like, it don't seem hard, you know what I mean? But it's like, it's one of those, like, you gotta actually kind of work through it. Um, okay, yeah, I so I saw this. I'm not really interested in this one here because it's like turn based, but yeah, I remember Armored Core. Yeah. Or like Armored Wars. What's it called? I think Advanced That's what I'm Wars. Waiting for. I'm waiting for Armor for somebody to bring back an Armored Core. Yeah, like, I, hands yeah. down. If Gundam, if gu- they make Gundam games, like they made Armored Core games, even. They could take the same game from PlayStation 3, Armor Core 4, and put Gundam skins on it, and it would still be better than all the Gundam games that have ever come out. All of them. That's how that's how good that game was. I can't think so, of a good yeah, you, you got a point. I can't think of a good Gundam game. That's one of those like there, there hasn't been a of. good mech game. You know what I mean? I'm just like Titanfall was eh, it was iffy. Yeah, Anthem was good. But it was glitchy. You know, it had glitches. Yeah. Um that, so that would have been that would have been nice. But no, the Nintendo Direct definitely came with some heat. They had a lot of uh Yeah. You want to fast forward through some of this? This is saying some of the really like exceed stuff. That's just like yeah, harvest moon had, type of stuff. Of, this was I mean, Zone 3, of course, coming out. I, I meant to jump into the demo for this. I, I totally forgot. But Splatoon's kind of like paintball. I think they like third person paintball. I'll probably the easiest way I can yeah. describe it. So this looked like uh, the um Star right there, Octopath 2. You the can ink go. Shit. There you go. Shit. Yeah, it is that shit. Inklings. Yeah, it's the inklings. Yeah. yeah. So hey, this is cool. Octopath 2, which this right here. Like you didn't play the original. This was a great idea. This was a great so idea. You got different characters. That are their swords are all merging together based on how you play it. So think of like Mass Effect and how your decisions change things. Yeah, it's affecting eight different people. See, I just can't play games with that kind of gameplay. Like it's just not for me. I can respect it. But them should be they be looking cool. You know what I'm saying? The they be having a lot of lore and shit. Right, that's the thing. The lore. I like lore based game. Like I'm a heavy story. Base game you gotta get into them, bro. Like if you if you or, ever can get art, kind of like gameplay. But yeah, I think heavy. I think Boca would start as the thief because the thief in in this game and in the original were both wore purple. So I think he would start with the thief. Oh yeah, oh yeah, easily, easily. That was the best character in the in the original was the thief. I started as the thief because like you know what they because there's certain treasure checks you can only open with the thief. I'm like. Why I'm not starting with the character where I know I got I have access to all the I get everything I want, right? That's right. the way I thought. Ended up the game Octopath was not bad. I didn't beat I didn't get the true ending because the true ending was a pain in the ass to get, but it was a good game. It was a very good game. Like, but Sony was just a style. It's like it's like the NES stuff we grew up on, but modernized. It is. It is. It's and I think that's probably why a lot of especially those older older cats like. We grew up with this. We didn't have a choice but to deal with this. You know what I mean? Back in the day, it was what we had. 
And so a lot of cats still like that because it is it's, it's of the nostalgia of it. But I personally, like I said, I'm with vocab. If the story catches me, I can run it. Right? Like the story got to catch me within like the first the time the first fight hit. But I'm telling you, vote. Most of those, if you get let the story hit, like just listen to the story. The story will hit, and then you'll 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 start to feel it. Um, oh, like I was saying, I'm gonna do some game plays, and I'm gonna have they're gonna be on the tw- on the YouTube channel. So I'm just gonna do like straight what gameplay. Games, right what game? Huh? What uh, well, I'm gonna do the three hopes one. I've got that out there oh. already. I've started on that one. Um, and so like other little things. So as you all go, and, and this is for people who are watching too. If y'all got a game that y'all want just to watch the gameplay of, you know what I mean? Whether it's on Twitch or whether it's me putting it up on the YouTube channel just to watch the gameplay. No conversation in it, just the gameplay. So you can see how the story is and how the game plays. Uh, I'm doing the full gameplays for all of them. I'm doing the Final Fantasy VII remake right now, Tales of Bersaria. Bersaria. Um I'm gonna do the One Piece three and four Pirate Warriors, and then Odyssey when it comes out. Uh, oh, Odyssey gonna... looks! Oh my God, I'm I'm I'm. You sold me we'll on Odyssey. That. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, you be... sold me on Odyssey. You sold me on it. Yeah, that's that's gonna be so much love. Um, uh, I'm doing the Three Hopes Fire Emblem. Uh, we got a couple others that I'm doing as well. So they'll be slowly dropping and releasing on a weekly or bi-weekly basis um, for something each week moving forward. And I'm even going going back and doing Destiny One, just the storyline. Just gameplay and the storyline, so y'all can see and kind of you know saying if y'all want to watch it for old time's sake, y'all got those. Um this one I thought was really cool. The the theater rhythm that they did. Oh, I didn't check this one out. Game. It's just it's like guitar hero oh, it's like rock band you Final shit. Fantasy music. Yeah. Right. Okay. And they're gonna come back. There's gonna end up being 900 songs on Yo, this y'all oh, my God. God. yeah, bro. 900 songs for Final Fantasy. Oh my god, that's all of them. Ooh, uh, I mean, well, the series is long as hell, so it makes sense that it got right. that song. Right. Yeah. Well, the, I think they're starting with 356, and then they're adding yeah, other shows right. and other games to it. Outside okay, of like, some cool. art stuff and some other some other games. That come out next like, February. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let, this, this is another thing I did, did like about the Nintendo, right? You can do a lot of pre-orders. That's one thing I did like about oh, the yeah. Nintendo Pre yes, orders or, or they shadow up. drop and stuff, or they shadow drop the thing. Yeah. Like, oh, it's out later today. Octopath, Data Live. Because I know I pre I pre ordered Kirby and I pre ordered something else that was on this direct. I can't remember what it was. Mm. Uh, of course, the Mario Rabbits. They're coming out with another yeah. one of those. Uh, I'm surprised I got a sequel, but I, I, that's so way. I think mean, that's so more than Nintendo, and I think even and Ubisoft thought it was gonna sell. So yeah, it's Mario, Mario and Rabbits both individually. They're like Raymond, you know what I mean? They're classic games. The game style, people, they're multiplayer. People are gonna enjoy them. They're platformers. It's it's just what the game is. You know what I yeah, mean? It's like it's, yeah, it's turn based third person shooter. I mean, you yeah. can't go wrong with that, honestly. You can't. And especially if you put a if you put a decent story to it, like see that, like you got the invisible book now that you can walk through stuff. Like you add little things to it and you're good to go. It it's a it's a Ooh. it's built already into it. But it's just so. these type of games are for like motherfuckers that just have fun type shit. Yeah, yeah. nothing wrong with that. You gotta take it serious, like let's just enjoy right. the gameplay. I like you know, I just want something to play real quick while I'm just to, de- to, to detox. Yeah, this I like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, now Bowser's play, we well, wasn't playable in the first one. He's a new character, right? Right. This is how I look at dub anime. Like, y'all know I'm subs over dubs, but like, for this, sometimes I just want to watch a little like fun anime. I don't yep. really, it's not, I'm not going to take it serious. I'm not going to invest too much in the characters. And I watch those in dubs, bro. I'll be like, yo, you watch And see, like, see, until I'm throwing out pre order bonus, and you get those special golden edition weapons. Yep. Yeah, fast. Yep. So uh, Room Factory, they came out with a third, another, like, a special edition. They brought it. Yeah. The, uh, that's an old, movie. that's a classic series, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Room Factory, that's yeah. an old school one. So from what I heard, I'm not I'm again I'm new to I'm new to some of these this style of gameplay because I don't really play myself like vocab. However, um 
I did a little bit of research and my wife is very big into the like especially room factory. She's huge in room factory. And mm-hmm. so she was talking to me about she had got the newest one that came out and it flopped, I guess. It flopped hard. Oh, and man. so they were like they were expecting this type of gameplay. And it wasn't this type of gameplay. It was like the newer Final Fantasy style graphics. Oh, right? that makes sense. That makes and sense. It, it just threw everything off. Like there were certain things, that, decision wise, that they had changed. Uh, and and seeing new like, series in development, we just saw right there new series in development. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And what? That, let's be now. This this one Nintendo just being they just Dion Sanders house oh, stepping sixty this four. This is high stepping. This was Dion high stepping. Mario party. That's the prime time. Yeah. Mario Party 2. Mario Party 3. Pokemon what Stadium. That was my Pokemon Stadium. Take it Pokemon back, baby. 1080 oh snowboarding. That was my stuff. Uh, that was my shit too, bro. Excite Bike 64. Excite Bike the original. Well, these games will that. gradually well, be added in the future. You can play. But yeah, all of this is going to be added in moving forward, nice. as well as hold they on. Get, hold they on. gonna get everybody with this expansion pack. Oh, right, because all the old heads like us. Here you more go. No, no, here you go. Wait, wait, wait. Let's bring it back. What? Damn! Look. Now this is where you. Now, now this is where you just spike the ball. Hell uh, yeah. And this is when Nintendo said Boston, Boston bitches. But yeah, so they're bringing that in too. The the old go. Now, see, oh, I'm not gonna lie. Had they, I would have said they ran a Boston if they said they were bringing out a new Golden Eye. I guess that's. they will see your point there. You know what it's I mean? The classic, bro. It's the classic, bro. It is the classic. Don't get me wrong, but we all know that. Nintendo, the Nintendo uh, update games, as much as I hate to say it, with, with their little back thing, it doesn't always, the multiplayer don't always work right. Listen, that's why, bro. Unless Golden you're local. Was a game that was right. so good that you had four skinny joints on one screen and didn't yeah. even care. You was I like, hey, God, I'm looking at this little square and I am completely content. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I'm they not, can get I'm these sure. older games online capability is it's it's an accomplishment. Let's, keep, let's, be, clear. let's be clear. That's also Let's be clear. If we didn't have this back in the day, forget it. Forget it. <laughs> let's just keep it a buck. Keep it a buck, bro. I mean, unless like you I get said, the golden gun either. And like I said, Nintendo, like I said, you, you throw OG Golden on as soon as that comes out. That's that's people just gonna buy the expansion just because, just because, just because, bro. And then we yeah. have more market, and they got wave three for this. This is another reason I got to get the yeah, the, the, booster, uh, the booster course pass. Yeah, uh, this, yeah. this is why I gotta get the expansion pass. Wild. Well, they bring, wild. They're bringing back some oldies. Yeah, they, they, what I'm surprised is how many courses they're bringing from the mobile game Mario Kart Tour. Uh-huh. This one's from Mario Kart Tour. Yep, this was one of my favorite tracks on the GS. This was one of my favorites on the GS. Yep, and if people want a Mario 9, nah, nah, they keep releasing the old track like this. I'm I'm cool. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So, I think Wave 3 tracks is coming out. Um, they give a day, keep playing. Of course, Pikmin now, holiday, holiday, okay, Pikmin that they're coming out with. Uh, the Nintendo they, they basically they did a Pokemon Go version with Pikmin, and so you walk around like Pokemon Go, and your Pikmin are in the regular world now. They've got a Pokemon Go version of Pikmin, as y'all can yeah. see. This is another fun game, like a game that you don't take serious, just... right? Yeah, this is probably something you have on the background on your phone or something, yeah. Like, you just you yeah. know, make it be chilling. It was funny because he showed his own map and like where he'd be. <laughs> Where he's at half the time, yeah. so it was funny how he did how he did that, which I thought was cool. Right, let me see where is it. Oh, here we go. This the Pikmin. Like this is him. So he's like, I'll be in one area and I'll go somewhere else and I walk over here. 
and all that just to see kind of where things are. So I mean, that's that's legit. That's cool. Attractive. Like, like if you're right. in a bigger city, so that could be very fun. Like that's one thing I did like about or Pokemon Go when it. Yeah, that's one thing I did like about Pokemon Go when it first came out. Like, I, I found so many cool spots or like cool murals and stuff walking around mm-hmm. New York with that. They're like, oh, cool. But you like in, in the Bronx or Manhattan. I didn't really play in Brooklyn uh, or anything, especially uh, my old job in Brooklyn. I didn't play too much because we had a manager who was kind of an asshole and kept taking over the gyms. So, I, and I think he low key fired a lot of us that were on the other one of the other Pokemon teams. But I, I'm not going to go into detail about that. Ain't that some shit right there? Not he, he mad bitch. He a whole bitch. <laughs> Not he mad because he lost. I'm upset with like, that. Like, that's crazy, bro. You firing niggas because they on the opposite Pokemon squad, bro? Nah, right. but this dude, the manager, one of the managers, like, he was straight up comic book guy from a Simpsons. Had the look, the ponytail, everything, dog. Like, oh, wow. straight up comic book guy. <laughs> what was it? Oh, yeah, I know people are going nuts. Is that the Disney one? That just danced. Yeah, oh, that's just. 2023 edition, just regular, just dance. Oh no, no, this is not. No, that came out. That was the Disney um, Animal Crossing. That already came out. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, they did that on the D23. Yeah, I knew too. This was D23. They were talking about zero to ten. How nice are you? Oh, you gotta ask them. I can't really talk about (laughs) that. She said, "How nice are you?" (laughs) I would like to, to say that I'm a nine, but you ask them because. You gotta ask yeah, like we'll the outside. Out we'll switch this out in a second. The two things I did want to touch on before we switch it out, though, definitely Bayonetta three. Cause that's gotta do Bayonetta. Huge. Definitely gotta do Bayonetta and Kirby. Probably in the last two big ones left. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely Oops. Bayonetta. Like this, we've been waiting on for forever. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say eight. Uh, how nice is he? I mean, are we talking about just like regular people or just like. Once you get to know him, there's a difference. <laughs> Somebody said no more <laughs> drinking. <laughs> I mean, to regular people, he's like a nine. Sure. Once you get to know him, he's probably like a five. <laughs> wow. I mean, come on, let's be honest. All of us are about a five once you get to know us. Let's be real. Wait, do you oh, mean no. nice like tipsy? Oh, oh, yeah, I think she means like tipsy. I think. Okay, yeah, you, oh, if you talk about nice like tipsy, oh, it's like a zero. A, I literally just zero, had this. Nah, zero. Yeah. I'm, up, I'm sober as hell. Yeah, he, I mean, I'm true. drinking water. It, I have this one Guinness stout, which is not even like a real beer. It's a stout. Uh, yeah, yeah. Another one pre-order. That's one thing I didn't like about. The, like I said before, pre-orders until I pre-order that. Pre-order that. <laughs> Yeah. What was this one? The Tales, Tales of Symphonia. Symphonia. That's another yeah. big surprise. That one was a big one. Uh, the Life and Strange came out. The Lego Brick Tales was coming out. Uh, Disney Speedstorm. That was on D23, though, um, which I'm still not a fan of it. It reminds me of the Sonic Racing games, which I feel like we have Mario Kart. If y'all can't keep up Mario Kart, leave the car games alone. Period. I mean, Sonic and Sega also has tried. I'll give them that. They tried. Even... I mean, even when it crashed that little, even, even, even when crashed that mini resurgence, they didn't really crash Team Racing again, which was a good card card game for its time. Mm. I'm not mm. going. To, we have I'm, Mario Kart, Mario Kart, and Mario Kart. Since Mario Kart came out, bro. Let's be true. Real. I, <laughs> that, now this was a big surprise for me because I was oh, yeah, not expecting this. Yo, I remember the first one. Yeah, this was this was definitely a huge one. Yeah, this was definitely That's a huge one. Real big. I can't wait for that. Yeah. Yeah, this was a this was very fun to play on the Wii. This was very fun. Oh, yeah. Jelly Bean Minions. You can play as the multiple different characters, or you can play as all four of the same character as True. well. So Kirby got some new, as you see, he got the new gunner outfit with the hammer fist and the gun. So Ooh. that's a new outfit for him. Yeah, that's a new mode. Yeah, that's something new. Yeah. <laughs> Squad up. <laughs> right. And like that's the thing about being Kirby, you can all be everybody got their favorite weapon with Kirby. No one's weapon is usually the same. You know what I mean? And then so, Kirby infamous for the mini games. Of course. Absolutely. And the boss rush. Absolutely. And samurai showdown. 
So it's gonna be that's gonna be really that is going to be a a really good, really good. If they piece. if they have that multiplayer online, that's gonna be very fun. They oh get yeah. The all, they did if they do the online right with that one, Chef Kiss. That. Oh yeah. Nintendo yeah, always coming out with the surprises, with, especially with Kirby. Kirby been on a roll lately too. I still I still gotta get Kirby in a Forgotten the Land OGs, too. Man. They keep sleeping on the OGs. I'm telling you. Yeah, people still sleep on Kirby, but Kirby, Kirby been that dude since he been that dude. Right. Been that dude. Okay, listen. First of all, if you don't know, we gonna need you to start learning because uh, <laughs> Kirby, Kirby made it cool for for chicks to like sucking dick. Stop <laughs> it! I can't. Oh they was God. like, oh, we, <laughs> oh, we can. <laughs> Dead. We get powers. We get powers for sucking shit. Wow! Wow! I was not expecting that. That came out of left field. I'm not even gonna front. Wow! And I'm, most things don't catch me off guard. That one, you got me. You got me. You got me too. <laughs> um, but Nintendo, bravo for another stellar direct as usual. Oh yeah, stellar, stellar, my guy. Yeah, yeah Nintendo fucking doing the damn thing. Like I said, you can't even be if you're still mad at Nintendo for whatever reason, you need therapy. You need therapy. Look, if you're still mad, if you're mad at Nintendo, you need therapy. There should be no right. reason to be mad. Nintendo <laughs> is giving us so much in life. Yeah. I right, get people wanting Donkey Kong Country, maybe some Metroid, but nah, we eating good. You got Pokemon coming out in the fall, the holiday season, you got Mario's Rabbit, you have Bayonetta. Living, living quite well right now. You feel me? And now we can go. Now, Sony fans might be another story, but we can get to that. <laughs> well, I mean, I've seen Sony, Sony but they be, one. you know, they be wilding. I wanted to do the, uh, the G-Doc Expo. Okay. Before we hit Sony, we all know, you know what I'm saying? We all know we got to look at Sony because Sony is Sony and they they trying to do their thing right now. But I had to, we got to, we got to open up some new stuff here. So we're going to bring to y'all. This is G Doc, G D O C Expo 2022. Um, It is what, uh, what we say, it was Game Developers of Color Expo. And all of the all the all of the developers are individuals of color, minorities, things of that nature. Oh, um, yo! Speaking of which, you want to hear something funny as hell? Go for it. So remember how we was like, oh, we gotta figure out what the fuck this shit mean, right? GDOC. Do you know in the outline that we posted for what we gonna talk about today? Mm-hmm. It says it. I don't remember that I put it. In. I remember I put the name. It literally, right after it say that we're gonna talk about. I didn't put it in there. It says game dev of color. I was like, so that's you how know I know this? I put my notes in there. <laughs> but then I always have to like. Girl, my notes I'm like, there. I saw it because I was just look, going through the thing, and I'm like, wait a minute, it say yeah. right here. Are we yeah. looking and trying to figure out what the fuck this shit means. It literally says that was my right fault. Here. Like, nah, I make notes and scripts for what we're going to talk about and, like, this different notes that I need. So we don't really be looking anyway. We just make the outline and then free stuff. Right. I'll be right. skimming stuff after that. Yeah, <laughs> like, no we mind. just be talking. I'm like, all right, what goes where? I saw it, and I was like, oh, shit. It's literally written right here. We did not have yeah. to. Oh, no, not one of these type of games. Oh, Lord. So I'm not going to lie. These games are hilarious. If you've they ever played one or watched somebody play one, they are hilarious. Um, it would be funny as hell. My thing though is this. My thing is this though. The fact that they are the characters are the diversity in the character range. Oh, you found it. Me. Yeah, I found it on Nintendo's official website. The um, Scarlet and Violet. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But like th- this right here, like the, it's the diversity of the co- of the characters that gets me because you don't get to see the diversity in those types of games. It's always, for lack of terms, whitewashed. You know what I mean when it comes to those. And it's good to be able to go through all of that without. Uh, is that the OLED model? 
Yep. Hold on, I think I see the GameStop link too. I'm gonna send that to y'all right now. I had it right on my phone, but we've been talking. I forgot to share it, so that's my bad. Here we go. This is what we were talking about. Oh, come on. Okay, top 35 rage moments. We will talk about that eventually. <laughs> but that's not what we're looking at for right now. Top. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> that's a good kind of <laughs> Try this. There we go. I want the. I just want this joy con. I ain't gonna even lie. I want the joy cons. Three fifty nine ninety nine for the OLED model for the Pokemon Live. Oh Pokemon yeah, I was just Live. looking at it. Three sixty. Yeah. That's about right. That's not about right. Yeah, OLED that's not bad at all. Because it's a special OLED edition. Model, not, like three sixty for the special Wait. edition. That's yeah. No, not at all. It's not bad at all. Yeah. Oh. Crazy here. Um, on this one, there was a couple games that I, like I said, I really wanted to look at, just like to at least make y'all aware of. One was that first one, which is Validate. The other one, let's see if I can pull it through here. This is a if you're a platformer. Oh, okay, that looks like a little Mega Man S type of thing. That looks kind of right. cool. It's, they're, they're dragons. So you got different dragons that you can you can be as you're going through. Um, I forgot the name of it here. Where is it? I'll pop up for a second. Get a cake. Get a, Get cake. a cake. Oh, okay. That look. That do sound like a black person title. I ain't going to even lie. It is. Hey, bro. But the gameplay is legit for a platformer. Like I'm not mad at it. No, at it's all. not bad. It, it's not bad at all. And the storyline was pretty decent. You know, what I'm saying you're going through, you're like rescuing other dragons and stuff like that. So pretty straightforward. Um, but a little spiral of dragon ish, okay. Yep, yep, platformer, platformer game, very well like done. A two, yeah, like a 2D spiral. I can kind of like a spiral ultra beast type of thing. Yep, yep. Uh, this one right here was uh yoked, which I was a fan of <laughs> just because it looked amazing. Like, you just got to kind of dodge and jump around stuff without getting smacked. <laughs> so Oh, it's like a meat boy, but like, with an A. It's like Super Meat Boy, right. but with an A. Right. So I'm with it. I, they'll say I thought that was a really cool, cool, de- a cool design. He's just trying to make it out of the area. Um, the other one, this one right here, Bwar, the Legend of the Dragon Slayer. I'm I'm sense? down for this. I'm getting this when whenever it drops. I'm getting this. Well, what what, what reminds your breath of the wild? What console is it? Is it on consoles or PC? I gotta check. Most of these are Steam, I know. Uh, which is PC. That makes sense. I'll, that makes I'll sense. check when it gets through to the end here. I'll double check it here. But I've got the names and stuff. I'm but like fight style, excellent combination good. style is legit. Like, yeah, you can't argue with it. You just can't. So, excuse me. Um, here, let's see. It'll pop up here in a second. Yeah, let's know Dragon Slayer. Steam. Yeah. So, that one's going to be on Steam. Like I said, most of these are Steam. Just And honestly, it's because they're indie developers. So, it's easier to get stuff on PC platform. Right. No, yeah, yeah, for sure. Right. Oh, then yeah, it's on console. Sense. You know, um, what was the other? Candle Knight. Here we go. This is the other one, Candle Knight. That I wanted to put put y'all on, which is still a platformer to a degree, but you see the 3D in there and kind of combination with it. Okay, I kind am, of like a Castlevania Prince of Persia yes. vibe. Yes. I'm 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 loving it. I'm loving it. Um, uh, so this one was really good. Uh there's one called Taste of the Past that I'll pull up here in just a second. Where where is it? Here we go. Shout out to uh, black this, people doing it. This one is uh, more of an Asian Creed uh, background. Uh, basically, woman lost her mom. She gets back in touch with her her his, 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 history. <laughs> yep, through cooking. It was a cooking game. So I love it's an emotional roller coaster the entire time, from what it seems like. So it, that's definitely going to be interesting. Uh, the Lost Twins. First off. Y'all gonna flip with this one when I pull it up here. Are they making dumplings? 
want me some dumpling? I need some money. I'm about to go. This is the Lost Twins. So, kind of like an It's Take Two game, right? But the twins are going through this in these hey, imaginary I worlds. He caught that hungry. Oh, so I'm definitely, and like you rearranging the whole rooms and stuff. Like it, it's, I'm definitely, I'm definitely interested in seeing how this, how this plays out. So. So there's that one there. And then the final game that I wanted to see um, is called Grid Force. There we go. Is this one. Uh, it's a multiplayer. Basically, it's it's live, so it's not turn-based, right? Mm-hmm. You're you're going in in your as you're going through it, but uh, it's all based on a grid of twelve. Alexa, from, like, next track. Your six. Oh, and shit, your six. Uh, and so you just going through and fighting people. So Grid Force was another one that was really good on this. But yeah, this was G uh, G Doc Expo Direct this year. Um, I am I was excited about it. Uh, looks like it's been going on since 2016, from what I've been seeing here. Um. They've got a couple of in-person events that they do. Uh, so the goal is also to try to get to one of these here in the near future. Uh, maybe not this next year, but the year after at least, if nothing else. So to be a part of that. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. And then other than that, the only other thing I wanted to make sure we touched on Oh, we did have the Street Fighter Six. Oh, with the graffiti? Yeah, the change of the Street Fighter Six was. So I've been thinking about strength, man. Strength, might, the power to fight. Is it money, authority, a cool job, a ton of likes? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's keep it simple. I want to be strong. Can you believe it? We got self-driving cars. The time's coming. We'll be taking rockets to Mars. And yet you still got folks out there using their fists and bodies to seek strength. Yeah, I hear you, man. We're all a bunch of fools. But, you know, if you want to know about strength, you just got to get to it. We fighting fools are all getting to it on the streets. That was very cringy. You too? That was yeah. very cringy. Damn, Damn man. Cool. Street Fighter 6, the, the marketing has just been a little weird. Yes. Yeah. That was super cringy. So they tried to pull a take it to the streets. Yeah, legit. Like that's they're trying to do like Dragon Ball Xenoverse. They got like a whole giant creative player mode too. They did. They do have that, which I, I wasn't. I wasn't against that. But the whole yeah, that trailer was just, yeah. No, nah, yeah. it was not. I don't know how I feel about that, but Street Fighter, is Street Fighter, and so Street, we'll see what they we'll see what they do. I'm not gonna lie, like. I like the creative creative player portion. I don't even like the way they got the the animation now moving forward. You know what I mean? The animation is something a little different as well. That's also I wanted to show you a little bit of the gameplay here uh, and the fighting. But eh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'm. Let's see here. I'm also, I've never been a Street Fighter person. So there's that as well. Um, like, don't get me wrong. Street Fighter versus Marvel versus Capcom, right? Mm-hmm. That era, yes. Right? Street Fighter versus Capcom, yes. But Street Fighter itself, I never really got into. But that's also because I'm a Tekken person. 
So oh, no, that's understandable. It was different styles. Yeah, different different button combination styles and all that, and different different maneuvering abilities. Um, not definitely not against it. Definitely see the appeal in it. Uh, it's just one of those like I, I don't know like that. I can easily see that marketing pushing people away. Yeah, Street Fighter. Street Fighter is kind of like Mortal Kombat when it first came back. It's having a bit of an identity crisis, at least from what I can tell. I mean, it took Mortal Kombat or the Mortal Kombat 11 to kind of right the ship. So I don't know what's going on with Street Fighter, but. Ooh, right? Right? But Tekken, yeah. on the other hand, I don't know. Like, I've never been a big. Panda is probably more your wheelhouse, but I mean, that trail I saw as Staley play had me interested. And I'm like, okay. Don't know what's going on if it's the eighth game in the franchise, but you got me intrigued. So, so I'm you got me intrigued. intrigued. We're gonna pull that state of play up and we're gonna run through that real quick. Because first off, we did not need an hour and a half state of play. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> that wasn't even was it that long? That was yeah, like 20 minutes. Like an hour, 45 minutes, I think. Uh might have been 45. I don't know. One of them was an hour and a half, one was 45. I can't remember which was which. But uh yeah, this right here, I'm yeah. This is a car. This is a car. Well, we know checking your shit, so yeah, yeah, it is. So this what I heard found out was actually gameplay that they have right. Wait, that was gameplay? Oh damn. This is gameplay. And like when I see people talking about, oh yo, you know. We can't make a game like that. I'm like, no, but they're making games like this. So why can't, why not? Capcom, take notes. Right. It is. This is Bandai at its finest. It's personal opinion. It's Bandai at its finest. For those who don't know, that's Jin. Jin is his dad. He can turn into a devil because he has a gene in him. So can his dad. They were, you remember? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was the one of the DLC fighter in Smash, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like how they broke the chain into the eight. Into the eight, right. So I was going to say, they Devil Jin and Jin were always two different people you could play. You couldn't play yeah, them together. Facts. The fact that they just, if they're going to let us switch between like a mode shift. Like a, you I was saying, hoping they would do that shit. That would be insane. Damn it. Insane. Because there's at least four other different characters that you can do that with. All the Mishimas have a yeah. devil side that you could turn into. Um, you've got Boscovich, uh, yeah, you got Yoshimitsu. There is there's a couple of different combinations, so I'm excited. I can't wait. The VR thing here, this is a whole VR game for Star Wars, which oh, I, I saw the trailer for this, but this looks legit from what I what, what they got here. Yeah. I mean, if you're into VR, this looks, this looks good. So hopefully those people yeah. have they said this wouldn't do it for me personally. So my thing is I can't do VR. <laughs> I can't do VR yet mm-hmm. until they've got those boards that can hold someone of my stature. <laughs> uh, um, and allow me to be able to move. Uh they've got them out there, right? But they're they're still working the king side of them. Like I want to be able to actually move and run. Like I would love to play uh, Elder Scrolls Online VR. All the walking and shit you got to do crazy, the game. Bro. You're crazy. You're what? Crazy. Elder Scrolls Online VR, bro. Yes. Elder that Scrolls. Torture. That's not like torture. That is torture as hell, bro. It's not. You're bro. 
Thrones. Now this, not what they're showing us right now. I wish this was Dungeon. And, this is more like Dungeon and Dragons or maybe Yu-Gi-Oh dice monster. Listen, all I'm gonna it say is. is when that motherfucking dragon eats you, and you gotta watch yourself get eaten, nigga. We ain't. But we ain't think about it though. Think, think about you know, like. I thought about it. I thought about seeing <laughs> that dragon <laughs> mouth coming up. Ah, you know I'm good. Nah, bro. Good, I don't know. For me, for me, it's always was like I like I like to live the adventure. Like, nigga, you gonna live that? You gonna live that? Individuals are are built that way. If that makes sense. Like, if the world was more, if there were no guns in the world, you know what I mean, and everything was more living off the land, to a degree, like there would be there are certain individuals who would thrive. And certain individuals that would be like, meh, I'm here. You know what I mean? Um, that's a side conversation. This right here, though, this this right here, this clip right here, though. Fire. Is it fire? For the Ronin. I like games like uh, new Ronin <laughs> game. Yeah. Here. I'll turn the volume up. No. Sakamoto. I was gonna lie, but this was Shinobi. I was like, oh, they're doing, they're doing another Shinobi. It's like a dragon. Uh, Yakuza. It's a Yakuza game. Oh. Um. Yep, it's a Yakuza. As you can see. But yeah, I'm definitely down. I'm definitely with it. My guy cutting bullets. Like, they always want to do that in a samurai yeah. movie. They always want to show the sword is better than the gun. Of course. Of course. I mean, if you can keep one of each on you, you're good. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, niggas kind of like swords over here. Not that I don't also have guns, though. Definitely. Have them. <laughs> but. I mean, they had then they had the hard works explain, explanation, you know. And like nobody that. cares about this. The new things. I'm actually excited for the Hogwarts one. I think it's gonna be good. The new Hogwarts Legacy. I, I like I'm it. it. I don't give a fuck. You talking about the game? Oh yeah, I'm definitely getting it. Yeah, I'm, like, I have like, it on my little wish list. Shit, that's gonna let me know anything. Don't let me be able to build my own character and shit. You can. I know. That's my point. Yeah. Yeah. Cause what no, this, is this, team? Matt, Ravenclaw shit, big brain shit. Coco, coco. <laughs> we out here, bro. That's that. We are the same. We are in the same clique, ain't we? <laughs> yes, sir, bro. Ravenclaw shit, big brain shit. Coco, coco. I'm with it. I'm with it. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is it's not multiplayer. That's the only thing I don't oh, like. Kind of dope. That would be kind of. They dope. open it up to playing spells I mean. with each other. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Hit a nigga with a that cushion. Been, that would have been, that would have put it over, over the, the edge there. For yeah. That. No, for sure. um, but no, other than that, like, it, yeah. Excuse me. it, it kind of fell off to me. It kind of. What fell off? State of play. Like, it didn't oh. really have, like, that. It, it wasn't play. hitting. It didn't hit. I just said, outside of Tekken, and maybe that Samurai game, nothing else hit. The guy, yeah, Samurai God of War. Uh, what else? This one right here, I was interested in. I'm not going to lie. I forget the name of it. Yeah, was that, that the was, one? I think the airplane one, I think. At, no, Adam, Eve, and Lilith are the characters in it. Uh, it reminded me of Final Fantasy, though. Oh sure, I, can't, I think yeah, this one looked kind of interesting, but I have to, I would have to see a demo of this. It hey, looks interesting. I look at this shit that just popped up on my fucking. Disney, Disney belongs. What? It's Disney Charlie presents Bambi on Ice. Ben, I'm Yo. done. I'm done. Uh, uh, who did that? Is that a freezer? I don't know. It's uh-huh. a deep, it's a deep freezer advertisement. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's Bambi on ice. Bambi on ice. Someone called Disney lawyer. If you haven't had now, first of all, if you haven't had venison, 
it's still it is delicious. It is delicious. Don't be mad at me. Raven Hall common houses are gorgeous. I the the common houses areas in the game are very nicely done. The entire game looks really good. The school looks like it was. And you know, it's all about that Slytherin Ravenclaw shit. So, oh, wait, is that like it out of the continuity for Harry Potter, or is that like in continuity? No, no, it's just the fact of. So, have you have you ever seen any of the movies? I've never seen nothing Harry Potter related. Okay. I know the author is another story, but that's all I know. <laughs> no, no, no. So there, it's just there's a lot of intricacy when it comes to Harry Potter um, and the movies, and so in order to make the world. In a video game, you would have to do it right and justice. There's a lot you'd have to put in. There's a lot of moving parts that I have to put in there. Like every going through the through the school, all the pictures in the hall in the Hogwarts are ghosts, basically. They're spirits. And so all the pictures move and talk and everything as you walk past them. So in the game, as you're walking through the halls of the school, every image has to move and talk and like you know what I'm saying. Do something in the in the area near you when you pass it. Like this Ronin is gonna be good too. This is the one I was talking about mm-hmm. here. But like it's there's a there's a lot. You really don't see the. When that's room. supposed to drop the Ronin shit. You also don't see. You also don't see a lot of you. You see. Well, you see what Harry's common room. I forget. I forget what he is. Yeah, oh, but oh. the Yakuza game did disappoint me because I thought that was. Maybe another reboot of Shinobi, which I thought would be more interesting. Shall we turn? We see Gry- Gryffindor. There we go. Yeah, you see Gryffindor stuff. You don't see everybody else's stuff. That's the biggest thing. I'm not gonna lie. Like when you were talking about the uh, the Ronin, I honestly I thought it was Tenchu, uh, Rise of Tenchu, Rise of the Darkness, because that was my favorite one. Like as far as like old assassin games. Um. Okay, yeah, this one looked at it. Yeah, this is probably the only one I was interested in. This one, yeah, Ronin. This one I thought was gonna be good, but then there's also the Assassin's Creed game that's coming out that's in Japan, but they didn't show it for state of play, which is surprising. Oh. That was right, you think it happened that in Japan, Tokyo Gaming Show. You think you would hype that, but right, but then Nintendo also didn't drop the they didn't release anything about uh Pokemon, so. You know, maybe people are holding back just because, but that won't come out until two years from now. That Ronin one, yeah. But that's probably going to be a Pokemon direct, but probably in another couple of weeks anyway. Probably right before the release. So, if, we, if we'll probably get it, we'll probably get it in three, maybe like two, give another two, three weeks. We'll probably have a Pokemon direct. Probably it'll release the, um, the Star Evolution stuff like that more in the game clots. But this did look into God of War. I just don't know this series. I can't really give a proper opinion on it. I know it's right. popular. I know Kyle from Living Single yeah, used to voice that Kratos, but you need to other than that, one. you need to go back to day one. Even now, you still need to go back to day one. <laughs> like, you can jump in anywhere. Don't get me wrong. You can jump in anywhere, but you got to go back to day one. Because in Dungeons and Southern, most people don't realize Southern used to have classes down there. Right. Yeah. There's there's a whole, when, I, when you talk about lore based stuff, like, Harry Potter is heavy, heavy lore based. Um, when it comes to this gameplay, though, this is let's just say it the combination of bringing in some of the old games into the new game style. Uh, like those are his old blades, you get those at the end of the last game back. He finally gets his old blades from when he was a god of war, like with Greek gods. The the mult the melding of the gods. The what do they call them? The what do you call the circle of gods? Uh, they're like their pantheon. There we go. Thank you. They're pantheons. The melding of them is awesome because if you think about it, like you saw the the wolf run off and take take the sun with him as he went starting tonight. Like it's the mixing of the of the pantheons and the I guess showing how similar they are in certain ways. Because that's the other thing, is that a lot of the pantheons have very similar characters in each one. You know what I mean? Gods in each one. Um, the fact that they made Thor a big dude, 
I'm all for. I'm here for it, personally. So sure, it makes sense if you know the if you know the lore. People so used to Marvel Thor. That's why I remember when they showed that people were kind of like, "Why does he look like Thor from Marvel?" But I was like, "That's Marvel's version of Thor. That's, That's Marvel's right. version of Thor. That's not what a real Thor would look like." Because Vikings were not. They got slim during certain seasons because they was constantly fighting. But other than that, if we got to go through winter, we got to make through these harsh winters. It makes sense to have a layer of blubber during that time. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yes. You know what I mean? That's what people people misconstrue being big or being weak. And that's a whole problem that Americans have uh, sure. across the board. Like, your strongest men in the world, people who go for the world strongman, are big dudes. They have bellies. You know what I mean? Yet they lift more than anyone in the world. If you think about it, or like linemen for the NFL, look how big those dudes are. I mean, right? Probably not as much nowadays, but we talk about early '80s, '90s. Probably they were big. They were big right. cats. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're in shape. They they're physically in shape. They can move that weight. And if they ever were to lose it, think of how much more destructive they would be. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, but definitely, definitely. You gotta also have something to fuel all that that muscle and all that. You know what I'm saying? That that movement. So, I mean, good example. I mean, God rest his soul. But Yokozuna from WWF oh, back in the day. Oh, Look how yeah. big he was. Look how agile he was for his size. Oh like, yeah. If he could, like I said, certain people, if they were alive with certain more modern medicines, were out. Like Yokozuna could have probably got gastric bypass and still probably works. Probably. Probably. Yeah. 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 But I mean, he also came from, he, he came from, I mean, he was following the old sumo traditions. You know what I mean? Like they, they, they bought that life for real, for real. When yeah, it comes to yeah. Samoan wrestling. That's a, I just not like a definitive documentary on that. That's what like the rock or Rikishi or someone, someone of their ilk hasn't done like a documentary on the history of Samoan wrestlers. That, that'd be mm. an interesting documentary to watch. I would watch it. I definitely, I would definitely watch it. There's definitely, yeah, there's some, there's some more there. I mean, they kind of tease about it a little bit if you watch the um the Young Rock series that won NBC. They kind of mm-hmm. tease that a little bit. I thought it was funny as hell. Because the, the people that got to play, like, the 90s wrestlers and even some of the old school wrestlers, like, the actors are hilarious. Like, Oh, yeah. Like, they did the Rock all the way up to, like, when early WWE did back in the Rocky, Rocky Maya Via days. So they got all the way to the point where they had – Actors with Triple H and Stone Cold, like that was my favorite episode. Mm. And mm. The Undertaker, like they really did, they like they really looked like the dudes from back then. Like right. the Triple H actor looked like Triple H. The Austin actor definitely was Austin. Even the Undertaker actor was definitely under. Like yeah, that's Taker. That's, that's, that's Undertaker, all right. Like right. you can't tell you can't tell me otherwise. I know people, I don't know, give Young Rock some shit, but I mean. The story they were telling were legit. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, but that, I mean that's that's how those eras were, though, too. Like people don't understand. Like there's a lot that they went through. Lot. Yeah, it, it make you appreciate makes you appreciate some things. Tell you that much. I think um, I was I was reading somewhere last week. I think there was something about Jerry the King Lord. Like he's still semi rustles a little bit. It's been ten years since he had that major yep. heart attack on Monday Night Raw. I was like. Yeah, he's supposed to be at Fan Fanboy Anime uh, in Indiana in a couple weeks, I think. Him and Rikishi actually are supposed to be there. Oh, that's cool. That's gonna be Indianapolis. Cool. Yeah. Yep, yep. Them, uh, him, Jerry, somebody else was supposed to be there too. I forget. I have to look it up. But yeah, if y'all get a chance, look up uh, Fan Fanboy Anime Expo. Uh, I think it's. Next month is supposed to be in Indianapolis. I know if you're in the Midwest area, but they've got a couple more that are around the country as well. After that, yeah, yeah, because Concy is just about wrapped up. I think once you hit New York, I think that's yeah. usually it. Yep. Like, dr- yep. like Dragon, and I think New York Comic are probably like the last big ones outside of PAX. But right. other than that, yeah, summer's summer's roll, roll, slowly wrapping up. So yeah, I mean sun sunset before seven o'clock now, which is rude as hell, but. <laughs> right. Boy, it's gonna be four o'clock in the sundown. You'll be mad as hell. Like, why is it so dark already? 
Like, as you can tell with my voice, I do not like when the sun starts going down earlier and earlier. Like, I do not like it. I do not like it, Sam. I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, a couple quick things I wanted to throw out there. We kind of hit most of the stuff for the, the game, uh, things that are coming out. So you guys have those updates. A couple things. One, Constantine. They did finally yeah. save their team. That was a big surprise. That was another surprise this week. Yeah. They released that. Uh, this is supposed to be one of the, the images they've got for it as of right now. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that because, I mean, he finally finished John Wick 4. Uh, he did the new Matrix movie. He finally got that out the way to wrap that up. And now he's he, they're finally letting him do Constantine because he's been asking to do Constantine again for forever. So, I'm interested yes. to see. I did not know that because the dude who was Matt Ryan, who was doing it on the CW shows, was pretty good as Constantine. So, not going. He was the, the guy did an excellent job as Constantine. I'm not going to lie. Maybe yeah. that's why. Well, you got to remember Constantine is Marvel. Oh wait, this is more. Oh, I'm thinking this is DC Constantine. Oh, okay, I did not. I thought this was I thought this was Marvel's con I mean DC's Constantine that he was doing. I that. thought he was Marvel. Give me a second. Let me double check here. Because I no, could Constantine scored. Constantine is DC. It's not is Marvel. DC? Yeah. Yeah, Constantine right. is DC. Right. That's my bad. That's my bad. Yep. Yep. Constantine always been DC. But the guy who was doing on the CW shows, I mean Matt Ryan, he he did an excellent job as Constantine. I mean, in the Legend of Tomorrow show, Arrow, Arrowverse, like that actor did good. He did a good job. I guess they would probably wait until the Arrowverse shows died out before they could do this. Yeah, thing. I was thinking Hellblazer, Hell, uh, Hellblazer from Swamp Thing. That's what I was thinking about. Ah, makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. but no, no, but like the but with all the comic movies coming out, having him go into Constantine again, like that was probably. So, okay, got a question for you. Do you think that he could possibly make Constantine do the same thing that Blade did for Marvel? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's a good question. Honestly, I see this. If Black Adam wasn't coming out, I'd probably be more, I'd probably have a more better to answer for this question, just to be okay. honest. I think Black Adam's going to probably be the for I think the Rock's markability is enough that it can bring people back into DC EU, but I don't know. But I mean Rock has his fan base. I mean I'm not gonna lie. True. The reason I know cast... I'm going to see it just because it's him. So I'm I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I, I'll probably wait for it to hit HBO Max because I'm not um I'm not inter I'm not interested in DC properties unless it's animated. I'm I'm gonna just I'm I'm drawing my line there right now. Just I was kind of semi interested in that Batgirl movie that got canceled, but the way DC DC's been operating since Discovery and Warner Brothers merge, I just don't have no faith in them right now. Honestly, I really gotcha. don't. Like Young Justice season five got canceled, which I'm so I'm still kind of pissed off about that. But then they'll cancel the Black Group Bat. They'll bring this back, but they'll cancel Batgirl, which is almost which is which was finished. You're just shoving it for a tax write-off, which right. I think is not fair to to the so, to their really funny about that too, because there was a lot of things that they show for that. And I'm like, I'm wondering, was that entire season set up to just be written off? Because mm. everything happened all at the same time. You know what I mean? Like it was like back to back to back like we were talking about something every week it was something was dropping off the shelf and not being no longer being you know what i mean yeah but, like i don't so get I'm like wondering. yeah i don't understand what discovery warner brothers is doing right now this murder has hurt them i mean the only thing i am kind of happy about was pretty little Lies original sing got a season two which uh honestly i don't think that needs a season two but I don't know who's doing PR or marketing for Warner Brothers Discovery right now, but they're they're just picking and choosing just what shows can stay and which ones because there's no rhyme or reason to it, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that 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 I definitely. I mean the I mean I know I heard rumors that the current CEO doesn't like streaming nor animation, which kind of explains some of the cuts, honestly. But the one caveat is is the Batman. The 
we're gonna talk about Batman again, but the Batman Kate Crusader series that was originally gonna be on HBO Max. Yeah, it's grabbed too, though, did it? No, it's being shopped around. Maybe this room was going around, maybe Hulu, Disney, maybe huh. even Apple will pick it up. Interesting enough. Mm -hmm. Disney picking up a Batman animated show would be very interesting. I'll tell you that much. I don't that see is... it happening. I don't I mean, see it happening. Yeah. Not Disney. Um, like I I I can see Apple. Yeah, I can see Apple. I can see Hulu. Uh I can definitely see Hulu. But I don't see I don't see Disney picking up Marvel. Not um uh, picking up DC with it having Marvel. Yeah, I mean, DC, there's something else we all need to be watching out for at that point. Does that mean Bleach was the first hint, was an inkling or something? Uh -huh. you, Disney that's up to some, like Disney up to some, yeah, Disney right, up to some takeover. It easily that's takeover at that point because if they get if they they got anime, they've had other merchandise, you know, what I'm saying, of course, but Bleach is a, the first last big thing since Naruto that they've had properties to. So with that being the case, if they get that, if they pick up DC, you already have Marvel. No one, no one expects you to have the competitors in the same camp. That, but it's petty though. It's business petty, which I like. I love business petty. I love business petty. But you got a point there. I mean, Disney, that means is, Disney don't care about you know what I'm saying, right? I understand money, money, no monopoly, but it's Disney. Disney is known for trying to make monopolies out of stuff. And then acting like they don't. I mean, or oh, I had it until this time, and then I gave it away. You know, already made your money off of it. It's dead now. You used it up. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know that Batman. Yeah, because it's, it's like that killing. Like the animation department for Warner DC is almost dead at this point. I mean, shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This they had a Scooby Doo holiday um, CGI movie that was a sequel to that school movie that got scrapped. Like yeah. a lot of a lot of animation stuff got scrapped, which I was highly disappointed with, with um, with the merger, honestly. But speaking of like business decisions, we were talking something we were talking about in the chat. I, I wish Provoke had to come back because something I was telling you on the chat earlier today, um, about the my business theory with One Piece. If we got time, we can go into that for a little bit. Oh, uh, which one? What I was telling you about. What's going on with Dragon Ball and Naruto? Could it just be a test run for something? For oh, One Piece? yeah, test run for One Piece. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we got touch on the real rap. We could kind of end it off on this. Know. Be, it's a Let theory. It's here. a good theory. Let's look for Vogue because he's One Piece too. I would love to hear his opinion on this as well. But the theory, I'll That's say cool. the theory, I'll say animation right now. Yeah, they, no, we're talking more on the Japanese side of things. Is the Western audience? We're talking strictly. Oh, you talking about That's Fuji? She, yeah, she. There with Fuji then for that. Yeah, because um, think about what's going on with those three particular oh, yeah. properties in particular: Naruto, Dragon Ball, and One Piece. All of them, Shueisha, Shonen Jump, they're the ones who own those three properties. Toei has two of the three. Yeah, Pirot got the other one. Right. So my theory is they're looking for another big West hit. I think my hero should have been it, but they're gonna they're gonna run out. They're gonna run out before they can blow it up the way I think they would want to do it in the West. So honestly. here's the deal though. Piro Piroco has Naruto and Bleach as well, though. Mm -hmm. So one's got technically they're all the same. Technically. True. Outside of Toei. Yeah, but Toei got, I mean, all their franchises are hitting. One Piece is hitting. Digimon, surprisingly, still hitting. I gotta catch the new Digimon anime. I've heard it's very good. The Ghost Story one, mm -hmm. Ghost mm -hmm. Survival, that's good. And then it was just, and they're finishing up Dragon Quest Die, actually, which I need to go back and watch. I watched like the first 14, 15 episodes. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I mean, Dragon Quest Die. Most of the people who were working on yeah. Dragon Ball Super went over to that once. The um, one drug will see with it around for a while, though, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been airing, I think it's on like 85 86 episodes. It's been, yeah. a while. it's been out for a while, 
Okay. But yeah, it's been pretty much on the air since Dragon Ball Super ended. So people have been speculating since Dai's almost over. This has been go rumors going around the Dragon Ball crew. Maybe Dragon Ball Super is coming back because Dai is almost uh. done. And then Digimon got unexpected renewal soon. So the time slot Dragon Ball Super had is currently occupied by Digimon, if I am not mistaken. So that's what I bet. Hmm. So, so Toei and Shueisha, I think, are waiting to see, waiting for Digimon to wrap up. Because people are waiting for Dragon Ball Super to come back, especially with, um, with Superhero doing what it did in the West. They need to keep the, keep the, keep the, you know, Rev, rev up the Western markets. Oh, yeah, they need to. Uh, I mean, I mean, there's enough right now though. Like, soup we, if you think about what with Dragon Ball though, they they release something, they'll give it two to three years, and then they'll come back. You missed the Zennies. Sure. <laughs> missed the Zennies too. They're awesome. You missed the Zennies. But yeah, like you could, they can give it two and three years, and be safe without you know what I'm saying without any repercussion. At least on the West side, you know what I mean. Over here on, on the, in the West. They can they can drop something, give it two years to marinate, let us make some fun stuff out of it, because that's what we always do, right? We make our content out of it, whatever the case may be. And then after that, come back with something else. And it doesn't even have to be major, just something else. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. If they hit at something two years later, that we'll give them another two years to, to make it. So that gives them four off top. Cause my thinking is this. Well, we know One Piece is in the final arc. I mean, didn't Oda say that the last arc is three years, right? If I'm three not mistaken, years. three years. Okay. Now nope. you got maybe five years of the One Piece anime you left. I'm just doing a rough estimate. Right, spitballing, right? So, like I said, that Digimon, that time slot going to open up eventually. Super already has two manga arcs already done right now, and there's no Super manga this month either. Uh -huh. So speculation is why is Super on a hiatus? Off one of the bigger, I get it. Superhero didn't do well in Japan, but in the West, it did numbers. It beat Pokemon for crying out loud with right. zero marketing. That shouldn't yeah. happen. That should not. That if, should you not know, Martin, if you if you taking a marketing class, even if you taking a marketing class in college or high school, that what Dragon Ball Super did in the West shouldn't happen. That should never happen. That that's, that's called that. That's some like pre. What do you call it? Uh, subliminal messaging type stuff. Like that's that's the the level of enormity that's implanted in our heads about that series, without them having to put anything out there. Like you were saying, yeah. The beta movie that came out at the height of Pokemania with zero marketing, that don't happen. That 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 does not happen. Yeah, that shouldn't happen. I mean, even Demon Slayer didn't do that in the West. True. I mean, One Piece Red still hasn't come out over here, so maybe that might change. True. Yeah, uh, speaking of which, what do we have? I have something for that one. Uh, do, do, do. The JJK. Uh, one JJK, the movie is streaming next week. So if y'all oh, haven't cool. seen Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, it should be coming out <laughs> up here in the next week or so on most most platforms. Um, do you need to watch that before getting into Jujutsu Kaisen proper or... My understanding is it is preview. It's like before, but no, it wouldn't have mattered. I don't think. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I think it'll give you. I think if you watch the series first, it'll give you a better understanding of. I uh, okay, like, it's one characters. of those prequels. Like you yeah. go back and watch. Okay, it's one of those type of prequels. Got it. Yeah. Okay. yeah um, so. oh, no, this is JJK. This is what I was talking about. So One Piece Red surpassed JJK. I returned. Uh, within that first the first weekend or so, mm -hmm. so overall that this kind of was just guys. But again, Demon Slayer didn't do those numbers in any capacity. So yeah, in the West, yeah, it did right. in the East, but not the West. So, so yeah, like I said, Shonen right. Jump is going to be in trouble in these next in three years. If they don't have another banger for the West and a banger for the East, when One Piece is done, the Shueisha as a brand is in trouble. Or like that's what I'm thinking. They're still holding back Dragon Ball to One Piece is finished. Honestly, I, I, so my thing is, I think they've got enough with One Piece to they could string that out for forever because there's so many movies they can make of random timelines during One Piece. 
that'll last them another 10 years minimum. True. You know what I mean? Just like random spots and time frames and stuff like that. Just like they did Z, uh, like they're doing red. Now they can always go back to talk about Roger. Cause that's a whole other thing that they opened up with Wano now. You know what I mean? They can always go back to how the Shishibuki uh, became, came to be the seven warlords in the first place. That's a whole series in it itself. You know what I mean? Like how the original seven warlords became the original seven warlords. So, okay. I can see that. I can see that makes sense. Cause the warlords were yeah. infamous. Even where I'm at right now, which it, just, if people want to know, I did get through. Um, I'm almost at the end of part one now. So I am I'm getting close to Ace's to what happened with Ace. I already know what happened, so don't worry about that. Um, mm-hmm. But I am at. I was selling um, Panda and Vocab. Yeah, I am at the episodes where Luffy got out of Imperial Down. Now they're doing the training montage for the other Straw Hats. Yeah. That's why I'm at. I thought it was. That's why I asked you guys if that was filler because I was gonna just jump right into the next Luffy part. Yeah, like, I mean, it is, quote unquote, but it's more so like, okay, well, what were they doing during this time? Why didn't he go get them? If you want to know, like, their glow up between then and when they start fighting again, when they do get together, that's how you figure it out. So, okay, yeah, because when I was getting through a pillar, I kept telling you, it reminded me of Muscle Tower um, Mm -hmm. from Dragon Ball, but then also with the anime, Keeping the same thriller bark open, it would kept it kept reminding me of the end of Naruto part one anime wise. Mm-hmm. Where like I don't know if you've ever seen opening nine for Naruto before with Shippuden. It was a very interesting opening. Mm-hmm. It's kind of reflective on the end of part one, like it's very nostalgic. And that's what the opening in one piece that I'm at now it feels nostalgic. I can tell we're getting close to the time jump. I can feel it. Mm-hmm. But I know you guys said that Ace, I think, dies somewhere at the end of part one. I uh-huh. And then that leads to something. You guys said that leads to another war or something. I know you guys said that. So because yeah. I know when, when Tsunami started back at One Piece and they started at the start of part two, and you had told me to go back and watch this arc, which I have been doing. Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 more of a it's a it's a context thing, like watching them go through that and watching like the level of hatred and everyone who gets brought into this fight, like as you, you've seen, like you got Jim Bay that got pulled in. Um, you got Mr. Three, Von Clay. I'm sure you've seen him already running around oh, yeah. and helping yeah. out. Like, so that was a throwback to Alabasta. Like, you know what I mean? Like he pretty much wanted them now. So we still waiting on him to become a new a member of the Straw Hats. Like, let's be honest. So who, bon- who what, Bonche? Oh. Von Clay, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't picture him as a um, straw hat. I didn't picture Janembi. I could kind of see because Luffy was like, he was like, oh, I want him on my team so bad. Luffy was mm-hmm. thirsty. He was thirsty back then. I was like, oh. Yeah. I was like, oh, he was even thirsty, but to get him on the crew that long? I was like, oh, no what he was happy at the end of Wano when he joined the crew. Originally, the storyline was supposed to go that he was supposed to be the one pulling the strings for Arlong back in the day. Oh. So, oh, mm. right. So, if you think about Fishman Island, and then you think about him running all of them gangs, because they all had respect for Jimbei, you know what I mean? And then you think about Arlong, it's like if he was pulling the strings for that, that would have threw a whole nother wrench and everything. But they decided to go. They didn't. They didn't do that. That uh, that strand. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. But yeah, it's all. I mean, it's all timing. But like, yeah, as far as like. As far as intellectual property, they've got plenty to pull from. Yeah, that's um, what I was mentioning to you guys earlier. I was like, I can see them. Like, I don't know how much lore. I know One Piece is like one of the masters when it comes to lore. So mm-hmm. I was thinking, like, hmm, that's probably if they know when, if and when One Piece is going to end. I'm wondering, honestly, maybe One Piece will probably be able to do this, but only one other franchise has pulled this off, right? Mm-hmm. And I'll get you. I'll, I'll ask this question to you too, because you are the One Piece fans. Do you think that the anime and the manga could release the final episode right behind each other? Do you think it's possible? No. Nope. Not possible. Uh, I mean, could they pull it off? Yes. Could they pull it off? Yes. I don't think it's they pull it off. I don't think so. Okay. 
It's one thing I always like about Full Metal Alchemist is like the last manga chapter and the last anime episode came out about it's one week behind insane. each other. Yeah, I, I I love that. I was like, that was so awesome. I respect I, it. I, I, that's my thing. Like I feel like Full Metal. That was lightning. In a, no, I was gonna say that. Maybe it's just lightning in a bottle. I'm always wishing that. Oh yeah, but, definitely, yeah. definitely. No, I think FMA had a definitive end. Like that story wrapped up where it was supposed to wrap up. Right. Like there's no reason. Like don't get me wrong. Yeah, we could have followed them and seen what happened as they grew up. You know what I mean? Without the alchemy, if you're going off Brotherhood or with it, with you know, what I'm saying the other way around. I think they would have ruined the story if they did that, and they knew that. Right. And so, releasing the manga, it didn't matter if they already had everything written and they released the anime the next week because there was nothing coming after that. Right. There were no right. more movies. You know, say there are no FMA movies, right? There is just you got FMA and you got Brotherhood, and that's it. Like it is. It's all, like I want to get a box set of those. Like I'm not gonna, like I'm not lying. Like I want, I just want to get the box set of those because it's done. It's like you just, it's something you can put on the shelf and be like, that was that was treasure right there. Like you said, light in a bottle. That was that was it. But with One Piece, because there's so much, and it's not that it's going to be any loose ends. I've, I'm I'm 100 sure Oda is going to clear all the loose ends up on everything, but. I think that because there's so much extra lore built into it, it won't be an ending. It'll be a new beginning when he ends it. I can see that. I can see that. That makes sense. You know, that, that makes sense. I can see because One Piece, it seems like it's always been about the ride, not the journey, if that makes sense. Right. Right. Because we're gonna have people that are gonna be mad when, when they find one piece. If it's not quote unquote worthy enough, you know what I mean? People are going to be mad. Yeah, or like I said, it's gonna mad. it's gonna be a national day of mourning in Japan. I, I re, the day the oh, uh, day the last chat manga chapter comes out and the last day the anime episode comes out. That's gonna be two days of mourning for Japan. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, gonna, it's definitely gonna be interesting because it's. I mean, it's been it's been in the culture for so long. You know? Yeah, I mean, One Piece might hit twenty five. I mean, if it's three years, it's definitely gonna hit twenty five. It's gonna definitely hit twenty five years. Yeah. Monty said, "I'll be there collecting y'all tears." I mean, <laughs> if you just wanna if you just wanna get us the series, we appreciate that. Like, you ain't gotta collect tears. Just, just. You know, grab a box set for a brother. You know what I mean? There will like, be one to collect. Get one for the get one for the crew. You know, get a box set for the crew. Oh, the, speaking of which, actually, I found this the other day. Hold on, where is it? Here we go. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw that. In one book, like that's one binding. I'm sitting here like, yo, that's one thousand pages. Yeah, it's not to be read. It's just for a collection. It's literally just for looks, right? Right. It, somebody, gonna somebody, yeah, somebody gonna buy that. Like, I can see someone trying to read. I don't know how you would read a book that long, but it's three God feet tall. So you gotta yeah. read it standing up. No, you have to sit it on a table and just scroll. Like you have to roll down the table as you read. Mm-hmm. Just get, a, get a, with, a, with a chair, just roll down the table as you read. Twenty-one I mean, thousand pages. <laughs> I didn't think a book could be that big. Right. Either is or won't be Pirate King. I mean, I get that. Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's true. I mean, One Piece could just be a title. I mean, honestly, it could just be a title. Yeah, that, and that's the thing. I think that's the other part that's keeping everybody so uh, so enthralled and is like, okay, what the heck is it? Because we like we all got our theories. We all got what it could be, what it can't be, what it will be, what it won't be. You know, we didn't seen the Joy Boy stuff. We didn't seen the the right. huge straw hat that the world government got locked up in a basement somewhere. Like Joy Boy was clearly a giant. That's all I'm gonna say. Like something had to have gone down. You know what I mean? Like, but if I remember just on a little bit, I've seen some. 
didn't the government like have like a lot of big secrets that they have not revealed? I mean, that was one of the main yep. reasons Robin got into the crew, if I'm not yep. mistaken. Mm-hmm. Cena. All of that. All of that. Yeah, one be I knew one piece had a lore, and that's why I was thinking spin-off potentials because I see I know with Dragon Ball, the rumor is there's gonna be another webtoon for Dragon Ball that might come out next mm. year. At least that's the rumor going around. Not a full anime, not something on traditional TV, maybe on on the website, which is why I'm thinking mm-hmm. Toei and Shueisha is probably using Dragon Ball as an experiment in a lot of ways. Like, I think Naruto and Boruto has been used in a lot of ways as well. But you think about it, manga-wise, Boruto and Dragon Ball Super are both monthly mat, both, both monthly mangas. Both monthly mangas. What other big hits have ever? What if they do the same thing with One Piece? Like you guys were just talking about the lore. What if they do like a One Piece anthology series that came out monthly after Oda was done with One Piece? He picks somebody and says, "Hey, this guy, I I knight you to continue the, an- the anthology series of One Piece." I mean, think about it. they've already had the on um, what this the Sanji Food War stuff that came out. That was pretty cool. I mean, I I, I read all six chapters. That was pretty cool. And they could easily. They, the thing is, he made them so individual. Like he could have a series based off of each character. After that, because I mean, they they do become his his people. After you understand, know, those are his captains, right? So you can have Chopper being a doctor. You could have Sanji being a chef. You could have Zoro fighting people or taking over the mantle from Mihawk. You could have Nami being a, a meteorologist. You know what I mean? Teaching somebody else to do it in this new era of pirates and, and stuff you don't know if the marines are going to take over you don't know how because that was the whole point of killing roger it was okay the marines will be done now and then he this was in the pirate era and it didn't you know what i mean there, there's some kids that are coming up under luffy right now and there's more devil fruits on the planet now than there were before because of the smile factory so Light spoiler, my bad. But yeah, that's fine. I figured there would probably be more devil fruit out there. That, yeah, that's yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of different devil fruit out there that we have never seen, even the originals, right? We've never seen. So I mean, because isn't Luffy with Joy Boy pretty much he has Toon Force right now? At least that's what that's what people have been that's telling. That's what it was, yeah. To a degree. That's kind of what it was. But like, okay, so I pulled this up. This is from Solo Leveling. I don't know if y'all heard about this. This it was a webtoon, right? And it's getting its own anime now. The animation style, though, could you easily see that in Dragon Ball? Yeah, that style. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. So what if you had another universe This for Dragon Ball? If they wanted to keep it going, Goku is always that person you can pull up who can pull up and run a fade. True. Same thing with Luffy. Luffy will run up and pull up a fade. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're always these are these these are these characters that you have now that are on god tier status that you can have run into any show rand at random because a they are universal travelers, b they have instant transmit. You know what I'm saying? They can transmit from here to there. Uh, they've got the ability to do X, Y, and Z. They got the fruit that does this. You know what I mean? Whatever the case it may be, you've given them these abilities to transcend time and space in some capacity or another. And it's like, yeah, okay, yeah. why yeah, not just have them randomly appear? I'm just saying. Makes sense. I mean, I mean, I mean, there, there's always the Zoro getting lost means. I mean, you could do something like exactly. Oh, oh my god, I just thought of one. I just thought of an idea. Remember when Dragon Ball did that? That re- remember that Isekai I think I told you about that was like the dude reincarnated as Yamcha. Yeah, ah, I do remember that. What if they did that with one of the One Piece characters? I'm not sure who you guys would probably have a better idea of who yeah. they could do that with. Like maybe reincarnated as Jinbei or reincarnated as Ace. Maybe you could yeah. prevent yourself from dying as Ace. Uh huh. Or you reincarnated as Shanks. Maybe you keep Luffy on your crew. Mm. It'd be funny if they if Goku reincarnated his ace. That'd be a heck of a character. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a heck of a character. 
<laughs> yeah, I got reincarnated. Oh, like two people, one gets reincarnated. Oh, wait, no, I got it for One Piece. Like, you do it like that. What if one person got reincarnated as Luffy and then the, his best friend reincarnated as Kobe? Could be. Could be. Ooh. I mean, they yeah. all, there's always the possibility of switching the roles, too. What if at the end of the day, the Marines are really the villains? The Ooh, are the villains. I can see that. I can see that. The Marines are the villains. I mean, we know that you know, saying we don't trust him, but I'm just saying, like, what if he, what if you know, end of the day, they switch gears and now you got the Marines what? trying to take out the pirates for other reasons other than that, or what if you, all the people who were pirates, are now the Marines? Oh, that, oh, that would be fun. That's a fun you one. Redo That's... the entire storyline with the Marines being the pirates and the pirates being Marines. Certain clicks like CP now would be very interesting. Like, right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Think about the three admirals as pirates. They'd probably be the three warlords, if I'm not mistaken, trying to switch the war. Right. right? You got Garp, who Garp was a pirate, was a head pirate who worked with Roger in certain ways, but his grandkids became Marines instead. Mm. Mm. You see what I mean? Like you got Luffy and Sabo now are trying to or are being Marines now with devil fruit powers, mind you, against Garp, who is now like Whitebeard in the pirate. Whitebeard is now a Marine instead yeah. of a pirate. Think about this. Like wait a minute. I, I let me let me add on to that. What if the Marines crazy, are kind of like the government in full metal alchemist? Look at that. Yeah. Way. Yeah. Look at exactly like that. The Marines would be just like the government of Full Metal Alchemist. How secretive they it were with a lot of so they would have the devil problem, but you know they would be doing mad experiments on different food. That's probably how Luffy gets his power. Maybe Shank takes him in so he's not an experiment or something like that. I don't know. I'm just throwing right. That's probably fan fiction. I wouldn't be surprised if there's fan fiction out there like that, honestly. I wouldn't you be surprised. Really that would be a heck of a lore if somebody did that, though. That would be a heck of a lore if somebody did that. But yeah, but One Piece has the potential, even like I said, even a little bit. Like I said, I've watched from Thriller Bark, I mean, not Thriller Bark onward. I've watched from what was it? Whenever Toonami, I think it was like Davy Jones back. I think that's what Toonami yeah, yeah. originally Davey started. Back, yeah, so. Davy back, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've only watched One Piece from anime, I've only watched the anime only. So I'm but an anime. No, that we're talking about ending. Think about all these shows that we're talking about that are ending. True. Yes. What if you did that with, with, with DBZ like you were talking about? Right? Like the way they kind of like the way they kind of did it in, in superhero with um the red um with uh, how they got Dr. Hero, they kind of tricked them like that would be an interesting what if. Like right. what if Dr. Hero was I'm gonna res resist saying something else for right now. You, you two know which hashtag I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice tonight, so I'm gonna not say that. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> but honestly, you could do that a lot. I mean, Dragon Ball One Piece is probably one of the bigger lore franchises out there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then a lot of people are like, why haven't they done like Pride Trooper spin off for Dragon Ball yet? They haven't done Universe right. 6. Yep. You got money I mean, on the table. Universes you could easily run. Easily run. Any of those universes. And then people were disappointed that I know we were talking about video games earlier. We didn't mention um D Dragon Ball Z Kakarot getting another DLC with Bardock as the DLC. Which makes yeah. no damn sense. You could at this point just make another game with the engines. Obviously, you guys like the engine. Why not just make standalone games? I mean, they did that with Future Trunk, now they're doing it with Bardock. It's like right. it's like you have this it's great fine. engine. If you have a great engine, why not use it for other games? It's obviously you guys like working on the engine, you like making these side stories. Make a sequel, just make a proper sequel. Like people, if they if they're gonna spend money on it, they're gonna run it to the ground. Most marketing teams are gonna if, if they ain't broke, don't fix it. That's when that's what they stick with. They're yeah. they are scared of the newness of it and what, what it could possibly bring because of fandoms. Fandoms are powerful, unfortunately. Fandoms are very powerful. Um, it's not like fandom, but yeah, yeah, but it's just it's more of a we have to. I think as and this is for, as a creative, as a as a person writing the story, the story is still mine, 
in my eyes. I'm not writing it for the fans. Right. Right. I'm writing it for me because there are people who also think like me who will also enjoy it, if that makes sense. Right. Right. I think that's why Goku stories like, you know, Dragon Ball and One Piece and Yu Yu Hakusho and Full Man Alchemist, I think that's why they lasted the way that they did and they had the following that they did is because they stuck to what they were writing. You know what I mean? True. You can't listen to you, you can't listen to your fans all the time. I, I, they mentioned this in Bakuman. Man. I don't know if you got, you guys probably remember Bakuman. Man. Remember when yeah. they had the the detective store and they didn't know what to do, so they started just using all their fan ideas. And then yeah. Edder was like, "No, that's not the point." While it's cool to you know take suggestions from your fans, don't blatantly do what your fans I'll say. Yep, yep. That's why, I, like I said, I always say that. I know I've mentioned this to you guys once more. But I think every anime and manga fan really needs to sit down and watch Bakuman. Man. I wish it would. I wish it got an English dub. I really do because I think a lot of fandoms want if they see Bakuman, Man, they would appreciate the struggle that these creatives go through. These manga artists well, go through. Video. Because honestly, I didn't know how bad it was until I read that series. Like this I did not know. Man. Like, I did not know they struggled like that. I didn't know they struggled, like, you know, make it yeah. barely making ends meet and stuff like that. Like, I did as not know. Me, as an author, as somebody who writes, if you're if you don't get picked up, you don't get paid. Period. Period. That's their life. That's their livelihood. And they they're when when we say like if y'all remember going to school. You know what I mean? Just think about going to school and you got to write a five-page paper. You could BS it if you wanted to, yeah, right? But if you actually wrote a good five-page paper, how long did it normally take you at first, starting out? How long do you think it took you? A couple of hours, probably. A couple of minutes, day or two. Once you got once you got good at it, though, probably like five, six hours, right? Like right a good afternoon. Minutes. Yeah, like a good afternoon is probably bang it out. Right. And then, of course, as you went through, if you went to college or something like that, or as you got longer papers to write, that became, you know, okay, now it's a 10-page paper. All right, I'm going to need an actual day to do this now. Or, you know what I mean? Something like that, 20-page paper, where you actually got to research it and give this and this and the other. Think about having to do that every day of your life on top of having holding down a job if you're not published yet. On top of holding a job 40 hours a week, Right. And all the research you're doing is for your own gain, right? You got to research how this does and how this does that in order for the book to be realistic or, Mm -hmm. you know, for the book to have the feel that you want it to have. And you're sitting there writing for days, weeks, months, years Mm -hmm. to put something out there that no one may see for another 25 years. No one may like it for 25 years. No one may never like it, but you put your heart, soul, and essence into this one piece of, of art. Have a good one, Monty. That's right. one part over that time frame. All right, mm-hmm. later, later. You know. Fuck them all. You, yeah, you like for you, you will lose your mind. Bro, right. Imagine if this happened to us, though, because like, we're all writers. I mean, that's what, I mean, anytime you pick up a new project that you're working on yourself, that's what it is. If you think about it, True. you should go to work every day. You still got to do what you got to do for your, for your love, for your life, your family, everything else. Like all creatives, like all, all creatives, regardless, you, this is, like if you're a creative, I would definitely recommend meeting. I mean, think about Bachman. They didn't really get big until they got to their junior year of college and they were doing that since high school. Like, think about how long that is. That's at least 10, 12 years they were working on it. They're lucky. And the funny thing is, they kind of, the more I go back to the series, the more I'm like, this predicted a lot of stuff that kind of happened now in modern manga. Because th- remember, yeah. the, this duo got a monthly mag- burnout. manga, the burnouts, the monthly manga. They got a monthly manga. One of their hits turned into a monthly manga, then they did. They were doing weekly and monthly. They were doing both. Mm-hmm. And we got certain authors doing monthly mangas now. The big ones are doing just monthly now. 
Right. I mean, you had, I mean, Kishimoto, low key, probably would have did both Boruto and Samurai if they would have let him to. They probably didn't because of Bakuman. Uh, that's something right. to think about. That's something to think about there. That's probably why he passed it off to someone because probably Shuasa wanted to keep the brand going. But Kishimoto's mm. like, no, nah, I don't want to do, I don't want to do Naruto anymore. I, I told my story. I want to continue the franchise. That's fine. But I want to do Samurai 8. And then unfortunately, Samurai 8 got stuck with that editor that messed up my hero. He messed up Samurai 8. He messed up. And Panda, you probably know which one I'm about to say. Red Hood, if you read that manga, that has some potential yeah. that just got ruined. Honestly, honestly, yeah. that's another thing Bakuman did bring up too. How an editor can fuck up a fuck up a good series. That that, yeah. that I mean you see it a lot in Bakuman. Like if you like I said, you know subtle shit. And like I said, it's one of the most shadier mangas that you know your anime and manga references. There's some shade. There's some Loki shade oh, yeah, in there. It pulls it up. Yeah, it definitely pulls it up. It puts it right on front street. Definitely yeah, puts you, it on front street. Like, we'll have to watch know, it. We'll have to watch it in the Discord. Yeah, we definitely should. Like I said, I wish it wanted. It's one of those that never got an English dub, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately, yeah. but... Because it, it'd be a good... It, like I, I mean, said, it'd just be a good educational lesson for a lot of creators. I, I'm not going to lie. I would do it. I would do the dub for it. But there's no way for us to put it out there without them trying to pull it down for copyright strike. Oh, oh you know I would that. I would do the dub for it. If we can figure out a way around that, let me know and I'll do it. I mean, I say no. I mean, even Team Force, I don't even do Dragon Ball Bridge anymore. So shit. So. Right, right. Even though they, you know, funny enough, we're talking about Bakuman. They got burned out. By the time they got sent in the Soga, they were burned out too. They were like, you know what? We don't even want to do it. We don't even want to do the Boo Saga, which I kind of understand. Right, I get right. So they were hyped. So, again, they weren't getting, and they weren't officially getting paid. They were getting paid by YouTube, but they weren't officially being picked up. You yeah, know what I mean? It's still them. Yeah. I mean, luckily they were doing Patreon and all that, all that type of stuff. Right. And they finish. I mean, even you know they're still going not as strong, but it's just like they're not probably not as relevant anymore because they're not doing Dragon Ball. A lot of people just follow them for the Dragon Ball stuff, which I get. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I mean, it, everybody got to branch on and move on. Even creatives like that. I mean, even Bakuman. I mean, it was the people who did Death Note that did that. That was pretty much just them just blowing steam over about what happened with Death Note. Low key, honestly, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, any creative, I mean, like even us doing this podcast, we all, you know, we all, anybody who's creators or writers, I mean, we all go through that. It's it's like we all out here just trying to become big, you know, we're trying to get comfortable, we're trying to make this into a, a side hustle, maybe even a career. I mean, you just never know. Depends on how hard you want to work on certain things. And I think that's what a, I think a lot of people, I know we were talking about fans earlier, um, just a bring it full circle here a little bit here. Like some of these stands don't realize how much these writers and authors work as well. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. and you see people, some people out there gatekeeping she hawk to say, oh, well, this is not how this comes. But do you know how much struggle some of these comic book writers got? I mean, honestly, some of these comic book writers, they just write the source like that. They don't get they don't get paid on the back end for none of this stuff. Like, like let's say Scott Snyder writes a Batman run. He doesn't really get paid while he's under contract if Let's say you buy a Scott Snyder comic at the back. He's probably not going to get a cut, maybe a penny, but what's a penny? Right. Like these artists, these artists and creators are making these comics, these mangas, or people are making these podcasts. Like you got to you gotta respect the people that want to put the time and effort into doing these things. But we definitely could be using our time to do other things. We definitely can. Yeah. Also true. Also very, very true. So just appreciate your uh, creators out there. That's, I'll leave it at that. Very I true. <laughs> well, I think, honestly, I think that is actually a perfect place to end the night. Um, we got to have some other stuff we're going to touch on. We can touch on that next week, though. I think it'll be nice little side pieces to segue from this weekend to next week. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, as Rod was saying, one, yes, watch Bakuman. If you not, if you are a creative in any way, if you yourself is a creative in any way, definitely watch it if you like watching creatives if you like reading certain stories or books or manga or and anime, watching anime you need like any type of creative thing which 99.9 percent .9 of us do I still suggest you watch Bakuman. 
uh, gives you a whole new respect for the people doing the things that you love to watch them do. So definitely, definitely. Um, we kind of went through the games for the most part, so that all you guys are updated on that stuff. It is... Dang, Rod. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm looking at I'm the time on my end. I'm in the fields. Um, no, nah, it's, it's just it's what you said is, is very, 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 very it, it has Sometimes it just has to be said, you know what I mean? It's just because I mean we talk a lot of stuff on here, but we know but we're talking about stuff, you know, other people are creating, you know what I mean? Like we gotta put you know, gotta put respect on people's names, you know what I mean? Like like even if you don't like somebody, like hey, I don't like the way this person right, like they wrote a comic book series. What have you done? Right. You just bought you just bought the comic book series. Just and that's another thing, just because you buy stuff, it doesn't give you the right to do whatever you want. So just gonna say that out there too. Say say that for the Disney Disney people in the back. Call, just call. Be, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just because you buy it, just, just because you pay a dollar for it, don't mean you have the right to tell people how to do their properties. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, uh, for all for all the to all the creatives out there, keep your head up, keep your pen strong, keep your mind right. You gonna make it. Making it does not mean being rich making it means that you will be happy with your creations that is why we create we create because it's in us to create as long as you are happy with your creation that is all that matters that is all that matters so keep that in mind other than that we'll catch y'all next week we out uh feel free to drop in on discord you know you can be watching anime all week. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I know I'll be doing something watching an anime while we're chilling. Uh, Vocabulary is going to drop in at some point. Rob's going to let us know when the Pokemon drops for Netflix for the battles with Cynthia and Leon. We'll probably do some of those in there. Um, but yeah. Y'all have a great rest of your week. Y'all got anything y'all want to drop in before we ro- roll out? Solelyspoken.com. We out here. I just put up a couple pieces. Right, and then just follow me if you had my Twitch, um, Robbie the Wind. Follow it. I might occasionally just do a random stream of just gameplay. Like I was doing Final Fantasy X a little bit. I got up to Blitzball. I just haven't. I just haven't been in the mood to play Final Fantasy X, so that's why I haven't jumped back into that. Honestly, because <laughs> yeah. that Blitzball. If you play Final Fantasy X in that Blitzball part, look, I might just throw it up there just just for the hell of it. I'll, I'll probably just play and just get through that part because I hate that part personally. So, yeah, some of those five side games start getting to you after a while. Yeah, Blitzball is definitely one of them. But I've also been playing um, Pac Man World Repack, which has been very fun. It's been very fun. Maybe one night I'll probably do a run of that. Probably just play it from the beginning and see how far I can get and beat it. Give myself two hours, see if I can knock it out in like two and a half hours, three hours. Ooh, and then, ooh. yeah, then, then probably be eventually getting a um, Cowabunga collection for Ninja Turtles. So you, if I get that, you're definitely going to be seeing me stream um, NESC and Smooth Ninja Turtles suit. <laughs> you're going to definitely see me doing that. There You'll definitely go. see me do runs on that. Uh, that was my second game I ever beat. Fun fact about me Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles suit, the arcade game, was the second game I beat. First game was Kirby Adventures on the NES. So I beat them both in the same weekend. Oh dang! <laughs> Not you said now. Nah, we got things to do. We got things to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was no. That was just pure luck, <laughs> honestly. The Kirby Ninja Turtles I had just had a great. I had like three hours of uninterrupted time, and I by a miracle won. <laughs> I'm not going yeah, to lie. Go. That was a miracle. That's and it gave me it gave me the confidence to, to finish Kirby. I was stuck on Kirby. Beating Ninja Turtles gave me that confidence I needed. And that's another Maybe. thing. If you, yeah, watch out for your young ones that are playing games. You see them struggling. Try to try to encourage them. Don't try to help them out, but just try to encourage them. Don't beat it for them. Let them. Let them. Let them. Let them. Let them cut their teeth the way we did back in the day. Learn you got them cut their teeth. Solving skills. Yep. Let them learn them problem solving skills. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, we're gonna have to have a conversation about 
parenting as a as a nerd, as a blurred. That would be a fun man. one. Yeah, we got to we have to have a conversation about that one of these days. We'll break into that another time though. But mm-hmm. other than that, we love y'all. Appreciate y'all swinging by. We'll catch y'all next week. We out. Enjoy the wilds.